So we're going to do kind of a flashback to when you guys were at camp resting. Um, whenever uh, Guthrid was doing his morning sort of prayers and, you know, thinking about the things that had happened, you know, to you guys um, and trying to foresee something that might be a benefit to you guys. He initially was trying to, again, focus on what the purpose of, you know, the silver golem was and uh, all, you know, nothing, there was nothing. It was just completely nothing, which is not normal, um, which I've mentioned before is, is kind of implies that it's some other um, uh, high level, you know, uh, not something that was, you know, mortal that's causing that. And I'll leave it at that. Uh, but the the other thing he, he saw uh, whenever he was, um, you know, looking, uh, trying to get something useful out of uh, his foreknowledge was that um, he saw the witch standing before this oddly colored altar. It was, um, and let me, give me a second, I'll give you kind of a better description of what it looked like purplish green stone the all uh it's kind of purplish green it's got yellow gray translucent sort of features in it it looks greasy she was standing behind it she was holding the lantern above it waving her hands around it pulling the light out of it and then she placed her hand on the altar and it kind of cracked open and split and she reached in and she pulled out something, and the brief moment he could see it, let's see, uh, looks like a mass of flesh, something obviously has been within the altar for a long time. Uh, it doesn't, I mean, other than it just looks like some kind of stringy meat or something with tendons and different colors in it. Um, and when you then, say altar, do you mean, is that the fireplace looking thing we see to the west? No, it's nothing you guys have seen. Oh, okay. It's, oh, it's, that's the vision. It's, it's, it's a vision. vision. Yeah. The vision, yeah. I got you. Yeah. And um, after after she pulls it out, she kind of push, you know, kind of wraps it into, you know, pushes it in her robe, looks up, and she almost acts like she can see that you, you know, uh, got there, they're looking at her and she kind of just smiles and waves her hand and a green streak kind of goes across her and she's gone. And then the, the vision fades. Um, and then, you know, we're back to where you guys were at. Uh, I just kind of wanted to give a little kind of flashback um, for some information there that uh, me and Don had been discussing this week. But we have no idea where that altar was, right? Mm -hmm. Well, like it wasn't I, in the swamp. No. What, was it, it something wasn't, we saw in the swamp? It, it wasn't anything that Gunther has seen. And now, uh, uh, Gunther, are you going to pass all this information on to them? Yeah, I'll pass it on to Finfall. Yeah. And from his description, none of you recognize it. The area that it was in kind of looked like almost like a temple or something area or just some kind of area that was specifically made for that altar. So or does, Gun does Gunthred feel like this is something that has happened or is going to happen? Well, one thing about prophecies is you never know if they have come to pass or are going to pass. Okay. Blackmouth is fascinated in scribbles down notes like crazy and then peppers you with a lot of questions. But he doesn't have any particular insight that's useful. Alrighty. You guys have a couple of directions you can go. Um, have we searched this room? Uh, when we left, uh, last, when we finished up last week, you guys had looted what valuables you could find and checked to examine the bodies. Uh, I believe right. you found the whip. That was really the only thing that was different in this room. There was no like valuables outside of that. I don't re that I recall. Uh, uh, Jason, you hear the sound of whimpering 
like some kind of canine whimpering on the other side of that door. Okay, I'm gonna tell. Visible. I'm gonna tell Jawa, who's standing right next to me, that I hear sounds like yeah. canine whimpering. Do, do giants keep like giant dogs? What is, does Archie know? Does, do they keep wolves or anything? Uh, Archie doesn't really. He's not familiar with their pet practices or whatever, but. It's not, it's not a thing that he's familiar with, no. He knows how to kill giants and where they live and how to track them. But he's not familiar with any of their uh, pets. Draw or, uh, reminds that we did find this big whip. Correct. And, yeah. and, and yeah. uh, Delwar, go ahead and do what you were going to do. I heard you. And remember, you guys, if you get uh, kind of uh, overwhelmed by uh, a number of people talking, hit the little hand and it'll ping me and I'll make sure to get back to you. Okay, so what do we want to do? You want me to listen to well, the other door? I have hold animal mem- memorized, so we can cast that if we need to. All right, does somebody want to open the door? Hey, real quick. Black, is there anything Blackmouth can make a torch out of? There's uh, like Sure. Bitch. There's lumber. There's pieces of wood and stuff at the fireplace. There's bed. Uh, uh, all, you know, all the beds. You could strip some of the that off and tie it, you know, to it. And, and Drog has thing. mountain survival, so hopefully he can make him a torch, right? Well, uh, I would hope so. Okay. But, I mean, there may be somebody that actually work. has a torch. Has anybody got a torch they're not using? Not me, but what happened to our light stone? Was that on Tim? That was on Tim, Tim. I think Tim was on Tim. Right. Yeah. Blackmouth is very embarrassed, but he he left Greyhawk without a spell book that had a light spell in it. It's very embarrassing. Yeah, I don't have a torch. Okay, let's have Drog roll and see if he can make one. You don't need a roll, man. Between all of you guys okay. and we'll the ranger, you, yeah, yeah, you don't. You know, it's not a difficult thing. You, all the materials you need are here in this room, and between the the you know your intelligence and uh, Archie's you know experience in the woods, you know, and dealing with. I got the survival skill. Yeah, I think you, you could grab a log out of the fireplace. Yeah, that's what he's using to make the torch with. Find a little pot of lamp oil somewhere in the room, pour it on it, and you're set. There's probably enough grease in those giant pillows to make a torch. Yeah. Okay, we're lit. So, uh, one of you guys were asking, and I don't know if uh, Archie can see over there? I mean, there's... uh, So I'm presuming that the rest of you guys can see, but there was a door here. Somebody was pinging over here asking if there was a door. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, I mean, when you can you not see the door? I mean, well, the, it just looks like the wall is a little different. That's what it looks like. Now I, mean, I can if you see get it. Next to it, there is a door. Yeah. yeah. Now that he's right next to it, yeah. Archie can see it. Yeah, Archie was the one I was clicking on. He could see the knob. So, Blackmouth can't see because you know he's human and it's dark. <laughs> well, he's got a torch. He can see now. It now. Now that he's next to it, yes. Well, we hear animals on the on the other side of this door on the northwest. Did Blackmouth hear anything while it's over there? No, he did not. So I say we pop this door open and see if there's animals or something back here. What about me? Do I hear anything? Uh, you hear the sound of snoring. Okay. I'll, I'll okay. say we go to the east and see if that might be a storage build, uh, unit. Is that the door that has the wolves on it, or the the? The one to the northwest or... has the door, has the wolves or dogs or whatever. Yeah. And the Is door that to the, the one east we're going has... out, or are we going to the east? The door to the east has snoring. I'm gonna tell these guys. Oh. Doesn't sound like giants. You can at least tell that. <laughs> D- yeah, it didn't sound like giant snoring. Send in the gnome assassin. Yeah, I'm a. <laughs> I'd go in and I'll slit their throats. It's, it's common practice now. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe they're prisoners. If they're elves or something, maybe not. Just saying. Yeah, sure. What? Well, I mean, how do I tell the difference? I mean, whatever. <laughs> He's a deep. That's, man. All right. that's all right. If there's a few elves, that's all right. That's why. That's why I was saying something like he's a he's a deep gnome. So maybe we need to spell these things out. Oh, uh, I'm invisible, but I'm gonna try to move silently. I, I don't want to. Okay. Oh, so. Yeah, go ahead and give me the check in uh, Blind Jam Roll, please. And I don't know if you noticed it, uh, Jason, but I, you have a piece of equipment called 
no armor. And the reason we do okay. that is that thing, when you're not wearing armor, you need to make sure that is equipped because it gives you bonuses to your thief skills. Oh, got it. So when you wear armor, uh, you by default, if you like wear leather armor, you're like at a normal level, so there's no adjustments. If you have none, it improves your ability to do certain things. Not everything, but just certain things. So just remember, like if, if you put on a piece of leather armor or chainmail or whatever, that'll change you just need to make sure that is unequipped so you wear bracers no which don't yeah bracers don't count towards that sort of adjustment so you're it, good it's know. good for you all right uh all righty are you gonna open the door yeah uh, sorry i was trying to get jalapeno out of my eyes i i was making oh, no. dying right now <laughs> that's not good i i've i, I i've had day old uh, jalapeno eyes because I wear contacts and the day before I had cut jalapenos and d I washed my hands probably like five times between then and then the next day and it's still when I put them in it was oh it's not, not pleasant that's rough all right yeah I'm gonna open the door all right can you click it and it actually open or does it not oh it did okay cool it did yep. all right so inside you see the you can uh, you see one across the hall both of these and let me put the little indicator on so you know what they're doing where is it uh, i know there's one there it is i don't know if you can see the, can you see the little icon on them as well i can yeah okay so yeah those are the two that uh you suspect are this the ones that were uh, snoring and in fact when you move into the room they are snoring pretty loudly they look like they are resting um, they have like their uh, they have like wrappings around like their arm one has their arm wrapped up in a sling the other one has his his leg and his hand wrapped up like they had been injured or something you're not really sure there's this like black sort of you know substance on the bandages and stuff and they're all kind of greasy and smelly, but they are definitely orcs. All right, so I'm going to go to the one furthest away first, and then I'm going to put my knife right up underneath his chin and into his skull. Okay. Move stealthily across the floor. Slides your knife right into him. Just moves in like butter. His eyes flicker, his, but there's it's just whites, and he stops moving. And... So, the other one's asleep, so what I want to do, I think, is go back to the party and say, hey, should we interrogate this guy or or leave him be? Really? Uh, give me a move silently check on the way out. Sure. One second. Okay. All right. So, I'll just say what I was saying. I'll go up to the group and just say, hey, look, um, there's one sleeping in there, and uh, I killed one of them, but uh, maybe we should interrogate him and figure out what the hell's going on. Does anybody speak kill giant? It's an orc. Actually, oh, it's, it's an, an orc. orc. Okay. It's an orc. But I don't speak orcish. Yeah, I think Gilgrith was our only orcish speaker. Yeah, he's gone. Oi. Well then, I guess the only thing that they know how to speak is uh, knives. So, uh... Trog speaks goblin. They probably speak what? whip. <laughs> but I don't what understand do whip. Just wave the whip around them and see if they start talking. I... I... Blackmouth is skeptical that he knows anything worth dragging out of him. It is an orc, after all. Right, then. Let's just take him out, then. Alrighty, give me another move silently check as you move in. Okay. I got a question, Mike. Uh, one second. Uh, don't wait for you to come back to you. As you are moving up to this one, you step on one of the planks on the floor, and it creaks just really loudly. Um, the, the orc kind of, you know, moves around in his bed, kind of oh, peeks open his eyes, just kind of looks over, you know, he doesn't see anything. So he kind of, you know, lays his head back down, kind of groans. All right. I'm going to give it a good 10, 15 seconds and wait till the fall, wait till he falls asleep again, you know, yeah. gingerly break my knife across his throat and then just pull hard. Alrighty. Well, when you do, his throat splits open, and he immediately he didn't wasn't asleep, but he didn't notice that you were reaching the knife across him until it was too late, and he 
screams or tries to and it just sprays all the blood that's coming out of his neck all over you and he flops around grabs he grabs at things and flings it around and he's not able to control his arms or anything and eventually slows down and stops moving and falls down as if dead you guys see this like silhouette of blood come out of the door <laughs> yeah you're, you're not invisible anymore by the way because you actually you wouldn't have been right. invisible if i'd have thought about it right uh i completely forgot when you stabbed the guy the first one it would have removed it so but all oh, right 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 yeah Drog knocks. Drog gives you a big head nod of approval. <laughs> I need Great to try job. to automate that. I'm sorry. Actually, you know what I'll do is um, I'll just cast invisibility again because I don't want it anyhow. So that's what I'll just do. I should have thought out that order of operations myself anyway. That's all right. That's all right. Not a big moment. Doesn't really matter. So two dead orcs. The room smells of like a you know. A gymnasium with kids that have, you know, athletes feet and uh, fungus everywhere. The beds are covered in black splotches. Drog recognizes it as orc blood. Seems to be the room they came in to to convalesce after wounds received from wherever. Giants beating them up or them tripping on a knife or cutting their fingers off trying to cut up some onions. Nothing else. Doesn't seem to be anything worth digging through, if that's what you're asking. No, there is not anything see any else exits. living in the room right now. Seems to be the infirmary. Yep. Okay, northeast or, or not, I mean northwest. Yeah, I think so. Okay, before we go out that dog, that that uh, door, <laughs> Drog, Drog wants to uh, uh, put his axe back on his belt and he gets the whip out, keeps the shield in the other hand. And he's going to get right up by the door. Well, you want me to do my thing again? Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. So I'm invisible. You want me to move silently again, Mike? Yes. If you're going to move through the door, the door is not going to be uh, part of your move silently, but I just, that would be the move silently when you're moving in. So, okay. Thank you. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, it's outside. On. Your skill check is showing. Did you, have you added anything to move silently? Not at all. No. I, I, let me click it again. Hold on. No, no, no. You don't need to click it. Uh, no, I, I'm not adding it. You have anything. added it. It should be target 40. Oh, I see what it is. No. Uh, uh, that's, that's, that's confusing. I need to figure out a better way to do that. It did what it's supposed to do. <laughs> I just the it's showing your your target is ten, but it's given a minus thirty because you've put thirty points into it. So I was just like, what? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. But it it, oh, yeah. it does the math. <laughs> it's just it doesn't look. I need to figure out a way to do that better. So, all right. Um, doors open, and yes, it is outside. And I think you should be able to see outside. Um, because the light, I think I set up all the light sources so you, so you could. Where's Blackmouth? Yeah, he can. <laughs> yeah, but I can see pretty far. You can see, uh, all of you that are standing right at the door, you can see several large wolves kind of resting at these. Look like, you know, little shelters for them. Um, are they chained? Can, no, they're just kind of laying down near them right now. They're not really aware of you guys' presence. The one here is sleeping. Uh, the other ones you're not sure about. I wonder, if we open that, I wonder if we open that big gate if they would leave. Yep, I'm good with trying to turn them loose. You want Drog to cover while somebody goes for the gate? Yeah, I can go for the gate. Could even do that. I got a whole animal ready. They All come right, for us. So when Draw comes through, Draw's wearing chain mail or plate mail or something. Uh, yeah, not, he's, not, he's armored. armored. Yeah, he is yep. not quiet. All of the wolves that are in this immediate vicinity that you can see all immediately look up, you know, like a bunch of dogs, you know, their heads just kind of spin and look, and then they get up on their feet and um, they some of them move a little closer. Like this one and this one start moving a little closer, but when they get to about there, uh, they both kind of, you know, like, look like they're afraid of being beaten, 
and kind of just cower and back away. Uh, the other ones seeing them do that kind of do the same thing once they kind of see who's coming out. You think that whip has something to do with it? Maybe. Maybe. Drog gives the whip a crack. And it's a giant whip, remember, so it's really big. This is not an easy task. <laughs> okay, well then he just kind of holds it menacingly. Yeah. yeah. They, although you don't necessarily need to pop it. Uh, they definitely seem to cower whenever you, you know, sling it around. They're like, and they kind of back up further into their little hobbles. Del, are you okay. going to open those doors? I'm going to start walking to the doors. Yeah, I don't, I can't see Delwar, but I want to get these wolves out of here. Well, Delwar's at the door. Oh, yeah, so am I. Okay, I can just are see you Delwar. Sure you guys are probably those... on top of each other. Are you sure those go outside? They, they I do. Bet, I bet we can use the whip to get them outside. The doors definitely are outside. You guys recognize this as the edge of the keep that you guys did circles around. And okay. uh, the the wolves kind of see the door open up. Um, Maybe stand back a little bit. We'll give them some room. Yeah. yeah hover along that way. southern wall. Yeah. And they're, they're all just kind of cowering down the ground as, you know, with Drog uh, moving about. So... If Drog moves east, does that one to the north now have kind of free roam towards the west? It's not really doing anything. It's just kind of like, you know, staying on the ground like it's waiting. Try telling it to leave. Drog makes like noises like, ha! Ah. Uh, it doesn't seem to be frightened kind by the, the noise. Or, or, you know, motivated to do anything by the noise anyway. Kind of shakes the whip as best he can without looking at them because it's a really big whip okay well when you kind of wave the whip at them and you know say ha! you know they kind of look you know jump up on their feet and kind of look outside and move over there a little bit more they kind of move over here a little bit okay so drog kind of makes excitable motions towards the gate and then he's going to move towards them okay then they those two just zip out and move out run out away just immediately and getting you know running off into the plains or the mountains i should say and the uh there's there's several others in here um are you gonna do the same sort of tactic with those yeah trying to make sure he hugs the south he gives them all free free path to get out the okay. you know i'm not gonna make you do this with all of them uh individually so we'll just say after you know some effort you kind of move through uh with uh, get them kind of all moving towards the gate that you've opened they eventually all kind of get herded out and move outside the door and seem to like take off like they're they feel like they're free and you can't see them anymore after a few moments nice this dungeon is brought to you by the spca <laughs> I figured our druid would appreciate preserving yes, the balance of nature. Yeah. And That's they were they weren't just they weren't just wolves, they were dire wolves, they were massive, so just imagine I wanna shut that door. The wargs from Lord of the Rings, they're about that size. So you guys know the that there is an uh, you guys know that there is another pair of doors at the north side, because uh, you guys circled the entire keep. Uh, what's inside here, though, you, you're not familiar with without exploring it. What's up, Wade? What you got? Sorry, did not mean to do that. I thought H would do something else, and I accidentally clicked it. Yeah, sorry. Go for it. You can rebind that if it's annoying under your controls. The doors to the east go someplace we've been. The doors to the north go outside, I think. Yeah, you know that for sure. These doors. The doors to the northwest... We is are a mystery. Yeah, you don't know that. Yeah, we better and check Jason, that out. You don't hear anything in that room the, uh, on the other side of those doors. Uh, Drog's gonna put the whip away and get his battle axe back out. You well, open the I door. guess we're opening the door. <laughs> Bravely opens the door, close the door. But on the other side, you saw a table with giant chairs uh, and a bench, a giant bench, but nobody in there. Uh, you do see a crate with some giant spears in it. And there are two doors on the west, one in the southwest, one in the west-west. The spears are too big for me, I take it? They're giant spears. 
Uh, so it would be, you know, yeah, too big. They're probably about three times the weight of the normal spear that you would use. They would do a good amount of damage if you could, you know, build them. But... Wow, black mouse torches don't last very long. Take a door. You do Let's not hear door. any sounds on the other side of that door. It looks like a room that has 10 beds, two tables, and various other things. Is there a fire place on the other side that looks like it is long since burned out? Uh, you see some, looks like maybe trophies of uh, broken weapons, some smashed helms, maybe a shattered shield, and that sort of thing. The there are some chests around the beds. You kind of flip through them. Uh, it looks like it was just clothing and stuff. Nothing really of uh, immediate value unless you want to make another torch from the, their underclothes or something. Yeah, better get some more torches. They burn out fast. Give me just yeah, there's, there's definitely some more, there's some more wood in that room. Um, and you have plenty of uh, fabric to make the torch itself, so... Hey, who has the bag of holding? Drog has the bag of holding. I used to have a lantern. Take a look in there and see if it's in there, or did I just get rid of it completely? Checking now. There is no lantern in the bag of holding. Yeah, then maybe I just got rid of it. Or That's gave it to right. someone else. Well, okay. Next time we have a, a break, Black Mouth can resupply. So. Is that uh, recent, that check? It looks like it is. You do not hear anything on the other side of that door. Anything at that desk or, or in this room? Which I'm trying to find you. You guys are invisible, so you're kind of hard to see. Which desk were you talking about? Can you ping the desk? Uh, let's see. There is a large horn sitting on that desk. Um, a drinking okay. or a, a musical one? A uh, blasting horn, giant sized, massive. There are a line of along the wall in this room. Seven giant sized. No, okay, I'm gonna hit space bar. You guys are moving on. I'm trying to describe another room and I don't want you to get confused. So there we go. All right. So the room itself uh, has seven giant sized shields and clubs along the south wall, kind of right by the door there. Uh, but you don't see any, anything else in the room. Right. I say let's grab that horn as a trophy. Draw it's pretty big. It um, How heavy is that thing? Yeah, it would be, it's probably about uh, three pounds. I mean, a horn is hollow, but it's just big. Yeah, let's put it in the bag of holding. Bag of holding. That, that's a wall hanger right there, man. Yeah. Well, you'll have to make that item on your own. And you certainly can do that with a little green plus on your inventory and put that in there. All right. Uh, so the other room where Jason is looking looks quite similar to the other room, uh, the previous uh, 10 beds. Uh, same with the chest, stools, some tables, benches, uh, and broken things that look to be, you know, selected trophies. Other than the fact that there is a sort of uh, alcove off here in the back with some other beds in them. Other than that, it looks quite similar to the, the one to the north. So nothing in here, Miss Harry. Not from where you're looking right now. Well, let's check everything. Look behind the weapons on the wall and let's just ransack the place. Now, when you guys move into the little alcove there and rummage through the chest there, um, there is clothing. Uh, some, a giant sized helmet, some gauntlets that are giant sized. Uh, there is a sack hanging on the back of the wall over here. You pull it off, you're looking through that, there's a set of giant sized chain boots. Um, and you hear the clink of coin in the bottom. You dump it out and you can see there's a pile of gold coins and, uh, eight sort of colored stones. I think this color is green. Uh, tourmaline? Is that green? Sounds green. I think it's green. Yep. So I will, uh, let's see. We'll say it's this. And it says it's a chest, but it should be a sack. 
Drog's happy to stick it all in the bag, if you guys want. Boy, that's a lot of coins, yeah. Go ahead. Fun fact about bag of holding, you have to actually uncarry everything in the bag of holding. Yes. Down. Yeah. <laughs> I am probably going to change that at some point. I just uh, haven't figured out how I'm going to do that. Yet. It's not a big deal. You just have to remember to manage yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. I need to basically figure out how to limit how much contents is in it and a bunch of other jazz. And so it's, it's a pretty complicated thing. So I'm trying to figure out how to do it. But right now I'm actually working on some uh, other refactoring of some back end stuff, which I'm happy to see we haven't had any problems in that because... Um, it was some pretty deep level stuff, so I'm happy it didn't break anything. All right, gentlemen, back in the big house. I say we go back in those double doors directly east of this little building. These ones? These ones. You can tell where you grew up. <laughs> yep, them right there. <laughs> well, there's some more to the north, too. Or do those, those go outside? Those go outside. Okay. All right. All right. I'm guessing we can barge right in there. I think it's kind of I think so, now. too. What does Delmar look like? What is that icon you selected, man? It looks like a... I can't even tell what that is. What did you change your token to? It's been that way for a few weeks now. No, it has not. What the fuck oh, is yeah. that? Looks like there may be a live hill giant. Oh, I know what it is. It's because you were upside down. No, it's not a live hill giant. Uh, oh, that's he's a, yeah, he's a dead hill giant uh, from previous. Let me see. Where is the thing? I need you guys moving up along the north wall there. Archie says, hey, there's a secret door right here. Oh, sweet. Nice, Arch. He says what? Secret door. All right, Rogue. Right here, what you like? Secret door. Show me. All right, I'll, uh, I'll have a look. What are you looking do for, li oh, So, do I see how to open it, or do I have to look? Uh, do I have to look for like a seam or, or some sort of keyhole or anything? No, Ar Archie it? just kind of points. He says, "Push right here." All right. So I want to listen first before I go in, just to make okay. sure there's nothing there. Uh, give me the listen check by jam roll and if uh, Jason is doing the same please do so I'm about to drink my last drink of blade and bow that I've that bottle I bought I know I gotta get some more too I'm about to murder the bottle well I thought I had dropped blind GM uh looks like you did privately not blind jam roll oh whoops do you want to do, cause I can't see that You'll have to do another one if you want me to see it. Privately is even above my level. When you say privately, you mean self-roll? No, I mean blind GM roll. There's a blind GM roll option. All right, neither one of you guys hear anything at that door. I'm going in. All right, we shall open the door, and we're going to pause it immediately so I can give you the description so I don't forget before we get any further. Uh, the room itself is hung with rugs and skins. There are hides on the floor as well. Look like these giant cave bear thing on the middle of the floor. There is a bed, two chairs, a small table. Uh, looks like there is a barrel of maybe some something. Uh, a chest. Uh, you see some clothing hanging on the wall. Underneath the clothing, you see this massive chain uh, with a collar on the end of it. And we're on pause. No creatures or nothing seems alive. Nothing. In there. Nope. I mean, you guys killed a lot of giants, so if you want to examine a specific thing or area, let me know. Blackmouth wants to investigate the barrel full of liquid. Uh, you move towards it. And uh, you can see that it is wine. It's a small tune of wine. You kind of uh, open up the top. Smells kind of cheap. It's like some kind of cheap red wine. Looking at the label, it looks like it came from some podunk village in Verbabonk or something. It doesn't look like it was something oh. you would have got yourself. Verbabonk, okay. Blackmouth, he recalls in horror. It's like... 
acts like it's the most disgusting thing he's ever seen. It's like, wow. I'm going to search around the fireplace here. And Archie and Finfall search the bed. Drog, however, goes over and scoops a big old mug full of it and just downs it and burps real loud. You don't want to join you with that. What was that? Oh, I said I'll join him. Okay. Yeah, it is definitely uh, on the low scale. Like, if you went and bought it at a tavern, it would be like the cheapest red wine that was on the on the, the list of wine for that particular place. Um, but it's not rotten. It's not bad. It just tastes really just kind of harsh. Um, would probably be better if it was really, really cold. Drug, <laughs> drug, drug now then gives everybody a big long story about... Uh, dwarvish military traditions and you like to sit around and eat your enemy's food and drink their wine or their their ale or whatever they have so, so now he's mad dog 2020 and d 2020 man he's he's toasting the dead giants with their own drink gotcha uh archie and sir finn fall kind of rummage through the bed but it just looks uh like you know the same kind of blankets and furs and uh, even some pillows in this particular room um, it actually looks much nicer than the rooms that you guys have been in before. I mean, the fact that it has a rug and uh, a giant bear uh, thing on the floor. Uh, the the chain itself looks like it was maybe a leash for something that was really big and bearish. Maybe possibly the cape bear that you guys killed in the oh, top, top, yeah. top main yeah. sort of area. Uh, the long hall or uh, the great hall is where you you killed the the cave bear. It's kind of interesting that it, the room kind of is a single occupant and has a secret door, so it should be an important person. I think we need to give it a good thorough search. Yeah, we can search under the like the rugs and under that bear skin that's underneath the beds. That may have been what was chained too. You never know, but. I want to search the underneath of the table. And of course, look under the bed, because that's where you always hide your valuables. Well, I mean, the dwarves just walk by the bed and they can see underneath the bed. Yeah, they, you know. that's right. <laughs> <laughs> These are giant beds. They're not like human beds. They're huge. Uh, all they kind of have to do is just kind of look down a little and they can they can see underneath it. Um, they yeah, don't see the, other than cobwebs and, you know, maybe a sock. Uh, you guys don't see anything underneath the bed. You guys do. Is, is thorough an examination of the room itself, searching the fireplace, you know, looking up in the chimney. I mean, the fire itself is burned out and, and uh, because nobody's been uh, tending it for at least a day, uh, it is burned out. Um, but other than that, I mean, there is nothing else in the room that you guys All can right, find. keep going. You said there was a chest in there? Oh, uh, with clothing and stuff, yeah. Oh, okay. It was a wardrobe. So I think you guys have been into this room. Um, yeah, at least we, we were in. We were in the entrance. I, we didn't I think. Through. I think because you fought the giants, that the the you kind of got a little bit of view. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the description. Uh, there are two tables, five chairs, two stools, rugs, hide skins on the floor, uh, and the walls. Uh, tables have pottery flagons and platters. Pots and kegs are all about the place, so you can see them kind of placed about the room. Uh, there are trophies on the walls, uh, various animals, uh, giant boars, some kind of you know mountain lion skulls, uh, this you know huge elk you know set of horns, that sort of thing on the walls. Um, directly across from the fireplace. Uh, there are eight shields, so directly across would be on the south wall here, right above these kegs or barrels. Uh, let's see. And that is all you guys see. We've had good luck finding stuff behind shields, so let's check those, and let's check all of the animal heads. I'll move right. in there here soon. Okay, I'll unpause, sorry. I'm just going to get in the habit of pausing so that I can give the description for you guys to go blasting through the room. All right, so you look at this, sh you, you say that as Drog, the one that's from the, looking at the shields? Yes. Those were on the south wall. Uh, you pull, you start kind of pulling them off the wall, just kind of examining them. They all look normal. Uh, you get to the last one. 
Um, and it looks like a tower shield that has a, um, uh, what is, what is, what is the word I'm looking for? It has some kind of, um, oh, my brain is just going blank right now. I, I want to say a signet, but it's not a signet. It's just some kind of symbol that coat is of for, arms. Yeah, coat of arms. That's what I'm looking for. It looks like a coat of arms of some very high ranking, you know, uh, family in uh, Varbavank. And the shield itself looks very well cared for, um, looks pretty nice. Human sized? Uh, well, I would probably say that shields are fit for generic. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's put it in the bag. Okay. Give me a second. And I will do that. Black Mouth starts a very boring story about some obnoxious rich people from Verbenog that he doesn't like. I think there's some doors over here we have not been through. All right. So. Where's the guy picking up the shield? Oh, we'll put the shield to you, I think. It says unknown armor. Yeah. Uh, is that what it says? It should yes. say. It, says, oh, no. it should say that. <laughs> there we go. It says shield. Okay, I'll stick yeah. that in the bag. Okay. All right, and uh, you guys, what was uh, what was the who was after a drug? Did anybody have a question or something they wanted to do? There's just some doors over here that we haven't been through. To the east, yeah, you are correct. Uh, yeah, Jason, uh, no, Delwar is standing next to them. Is Delwar doing something special? Nothing in the animal heads, just... Uh, the one thing on the walls, no. You don't see anything, anything special about them? I'm having a listen at the door. Alrighty. You do not hear anything, Delwar. Jason, and open it up, all right? Open oh, me? Uh, yeah. Uh, unpause, sorry. Oh. As soon as you open the door, you see this massive Care Bear. That come, it looks like he just immediately leaps up, you know, like a dog frightened, and rushes to the door. And as soon as he sees Jolivan, it is game on, meaning combat. Give me a second, and I will add you guys to the combat. Uh, did I just unselect everybody? I did. Nope, I didn't. Get that leash ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where do you have hold animal or something? I do have hold animal. Hey, don't roll dice yet, guys, because it's, it's not. I haven't begun yeah. combat yet. Do you guys not see at the bottom? Does it not say begin combat for you guys? It's no. just blank. It says no. started at the top. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's what oh. you need to look at. So, uh, let me do this. And roll for initiative, gentlemen. I actually don't see anything anywhere for that. Uh, it would be your combat tracker tab. Now, you should also see a lot of little tokens at the very top of the screen, kind of like in Baldur's Gate 3, the little... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Well, that's that's what I've been clicking to roll initiative. I've just been clicking on my icon. Yeah, the best thing to do is would be to select the... Um, use the weapon that you're going to be attacking with uh if it's not if you're not attacking with a weapon or casting a spell uh if you're going to use an action like uh, drink a potion or use a wand of fireballs or something like that uh, right now there's no way to do initiative for that so you would do just the generic sort of roll initiative uh, okay. dice so uh but it looks like everybody but jolliman has rolled yeah i'm having trouble rolling what's it doing nothing what are you trying to roll uh, initiative for hold animal. It's not working from my character sheet or the heads up. Hold animal. I get the pop up. I'm going to roll for you. And it worked for me. Uh, what I would suggest is uh, same thing we did last week with um, Delwar is go ahead and do an F5 just to reload just in, in case there is some kind of desync issue. Um, if it doesn't work next time, we'll we'll um, we'll need to test that later. Uh, I was able to do it for you. Doesn't mean that it's not a problem. It could be that it's a client uh, role initiative problem. And uh, but nobody else is yes. casting spells. That are uh, did Blackmouth do any spell casting? No, because nah, he can't target the bear. Yeah. All right. 
Uh, so it looks like a black mouth. You are going first. You can't even see him because the room is dark. Yeah, these torches burn out fast, so he's going to pop another one. Yeah, they do burn out pretty quickly, especially uh, since I use the auto time. Whenever, whenever the game is not paused or we're not in combat, time is ticking. So it, yeah. it will, you know, it's cycle important. through stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you guys, that's something you guys need to keep, you know, remember. Um, but uh, you can move. So if you want to move to the southeast, you've pulled out another torch to let it up. And I'll still let you move your, you know, at least half your move, which would be about six. So, you know, they're over to this area. All right. And your turn. And I'm going through this using his hammer. Are you going to throw it or are you going to move and attack? I am going to throw it. Okay. That is a miss. Rog. Draw okay. can see the cave bear standing at the doorway, ready to rip into his friend, Jolomon. Yeah, Drog's going to step up next to Drog, Jolomon. Uh, uh, of course, he can't attack, but he'll be, you know, he's going to defend Jolomon, basically. Uh, you're moving. Oh, you're moving more than a half. You're moving. You can charge if you would like. No, because I'm going to see what happens with the hold spell. I'm just okay. going to get up here where I can cover Jolomon in case he needs to retreat or something. Okay. All right. Uh, end your turn. And Jolomon. Casting hold animal. Okay. Target him. Undo the cast. See if he saves. I don't think you need to roll however many animals are affected. Oh, he failed his save. It affects up to 4,000 pounds. Yeah, he's definitely, you know, he's, he's well under 4,000 pounds. So the way I'm going to say that it works, and you can you can decide how you want this. If you wanted to just immediately just freeze him in place like the whole person's spell, that's fine. If you want it to be, he kind of stops because you've kind of reached his, uh, you know, his, his, Na na you know his natural sort of you, you've contacted him you know you kind of imagine like a, uh, 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 oh god my, why is it that every time I want to think of this this fucking monster the, the guy that did the little thing with his pinky and his thumb oh uh crocodile Dundee yeah you kind of did that and he kind of just stops and he's just paused you know, if you want it to be like that and you want to try to interact with him or try to calm him down or do something, you can. Or if you just want to say it's a whole person type of thing, you can. You know, I'm, I'm, either one of them is fine. I'll try to interact with him. Okay. See if I can get him to back up. Okay. So whenever you, 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 you kind of, you know, uh, caused him to kind of realize, oh, wait, this, this guy is not a bad guy. He's a nice guy. Uh, and he, he's, he kind of turns and looks at you. He's still kind of, you know, I, every now and then his eyes will twitch off to Drog and uh, Archie and Sir Finthal and that sort of thing. Well, Drog backs up so that you can do your magic there. So. Okay. Um, and he seems to be acknowledging, you know, what you're trying to, you know, want him to do. And he'll, he'll kind of back up a little bit. Um, he looks like he's, he, he just, he looks like he is, uh, it's hungry. He's been locked in this room. You know, you kind of, you know, you the we'll say the spell imparts some kind of empathic thing for this particular case. You know, this may not be the way it always works, but in this case, I'll say it does. But you kind of, you know, you get the idea that he's been locked in this room for two days. He's starving to death. He's hungry. He wants to eat. Um, and that's really the first thing that's on his mind. You know, anything else is just kind of secondary. The, you, your spell is what stopped him from wanting to eat you. Okay, I'm going to say to the group, kind of clear out of the way. I'm going to try and lead this bear out of here and maybe give him a hill giant on the way out. Don't I have some of that cooked meat left over? We could, but I think he'd prefer just... I mean, maybe he wants cooked meat, but... Uh, try so and get the bear to follow me. Yeah, with well, with, I mean, your, it's meat, huh? with your... With your, you know, uh, help or with your sort of direction... He makes his way, and as soon as he sees the dead giants on the ground, he immediately just gets in the middle of them and just starts ripping flesh off of them and eating them. I'm going to go make uh, sure these doors are open. Okay. Yeah, there's one open if you want to open the other one. Dude, you need a new bear, man. I don't know that I can tame him, though. I don't, Try, I don't though. really he, have a spell to do a, that. He is a cave bear. Uh, it's one of the... Uh, 
it's probably something outside of your ability to control long term and you know this as a druid it's just like you know you can calm them down briefly but it's it's not like a brown bear or black bear or grizzly bear this thing is you know um, the size of this thing it is like 12 feet tall when it stands up it's huge um, hit dice wise this thing is, is, is uh, uh, six hit that was just it's pretty fucking big so he's like the short school bus I got it <laughs> uh, uh, Jolin short school bus I don't know the, the the cave bear is like the the biggest bear that you're gonna find I mean I I mean even a polar bear is smaller than this thing no no, so. no I mean he's the size of a short school bus oh yeah 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 absolutely yeah he's massive um, so as long as you guys you know uh, leave him alone let him continue to eat and, you know kind of move or you know take give him wide berth it's not going to bother you. It's going to continue just ripping into the giants that are there. And I ended combat, by the way. Okay, let's loot the room. All right, so the room, let me give you a description of the room. Uh, there's a bed, small table, chair, stool, two chests, a coffer, rugs, hides, and uh, let's see, the chests are, where are they? Oh, don't tell me this. Hold on a second. Give me a sec. This must be one of the rooms I missed. Oh, up here. Did I not do it here either? Oh, man. Oh, no, I did. There it is. And inside the, uh, I'm presuming you guys are going to rummage through the, let's see. Rummage is what we do. Yep. Yeah. You rummage through the chest, you find some kind of nice, for giants, uh, kind of garments. Um, so you suspect this was probably the uh, leader's uh, mate. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. we're in the master suite. Yeah. yeah. So I have unpaused it. I just want to make sure you guys got the description. Okay. Well, yeah. if it looks like it's worth something, let's cram it in the bag of holding. Oh, it's a giant size 90. I mean, I, I was trying to be a little subtle there, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. I mean, it's basically uh, fabric. <laughs> yeah. But you could use it for... If we don't think we can tell it, then we're not yeah. going to take it. Yeah. It's, it's not... I mean, you would have to find a very specific uh, person that would want that. It's not something you could sell at the market because nobody could wear it. It's All too right. big. So no worry on that, then. And Don, what you got? Got through. I would like to check the desk. All right. So you look at the desk. On top of it, you can see. I know it shows books and other things, and unfortunately, that's just what's on the thing that I do for the map. Uh, but it's just some uh, powders and oils and smelly, smell good stuff, perfumes, that kind of stuff. Nothing that would bring an immense amount of value to an adventurer like yourself. Were those uh, garments that was pulled out, do they look like they might have been like vestments? No, they were like undergarments that were really sort of like a uh, silk 90 for a giant. What is what is uh, Sir Finfall doing? And I'm trying to Archie. Just searching under the bed, in the bed, looking for things under the rugs. Okay. You dig around in the bed, and surprisingly, in the mattress, you find another pouch. And in the pouch, you see some gems. And I will... This is... Don't anybody else look at this? You can see that surfing though and do whatever That's you want what to I'm talking it. about. Oh, yeah, there's a lot in here, too. Okay. In the bag? Yeah, let me... Yeah, take what you want, but yeah. I'm going to alert Blackmouth to the powders that are in the desk. Okay, Jeff, go ahead and just grab the gems out of there. I didn't grab anything. Okay. Yeah, Blackmouth, he's happy to take a look at all of the cosmetic crap on the table and see if there's anything that might double as a magic reagent or anything like that. Um, I mean, I, I can't think of anything. I mean, if you have a spell in mind that you think that it would be useful for, but I mean, most of these are just basically just powders and things that would, you know, make her, you know, 
Yeah, I got you. I'm just nice. trying not to smell like a giant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, try to appeal to a, a hill giant. I mean, I don't know. Wh- I don't know what that would be. Um, it's just it's it's a table that you know she, she uses to get dressed in the morning. Yeah, it's worth a look. Yeah. I was thinking perfume so you don't have to wash your ass for a week. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you know. It's a giant. I, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> it's just that kind of hygiene products for for giants and makeup if they wore makeup if they don't i don't know what it would be maybe tweezers to pull out you know wiry hairs from their lip or their nose or their ears i, I don't sorry huge jar lumi what is that i said stuff on it's a commercial from this lady that gets a little bit too familiar with the commercial <laughs> okay <laughs> She's talking about all the places on the body you can put it so it stops stinking. Gotcha. Oh, I've seen that. She's weird. <laughs> yeah. I, you guys got to link me later because <laughs> I have no idea what that is. <laughs> all right. So you guys have taken the items out of the thing that was in the bed. And you have looked through the objects on the desk that appear to be um, just sort of... Uh, makeup things or um, something that would make a giant female more appealing to a, 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 her chief sort of thing. Uh, in his case, maybe he was abusive, so she used it to cover the bruises and stuff. I, I don't know. I don't know what giants would be like. but I'm sure they're people. not nice people. Yeah. yeah, that would be my guess. All right, let's go check out the room that was directly behind the wall in the Great Hall. So back where we just came in. If you guys are okay, I am going to go ahead and delete all these giants to get them out of the way. Um, you guys have already looked at them. Oh, I probably deleted somebody. Let me look at mine. And this is it, one reason it was I, dro- I, it was it was dropped. Yeah, this is one reason I like uh, 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 Ripper stuff. The restore item. Oh, look at that. He's back. And we'll get rid of this. This this. Eventually, the cave bear has consumed enough flesh that he uh, runs out, feels happy to be free. Uh, There is a set of double doors here to the south. There is a set of double doors there, uh, as well as the double doors that you guys have already seen over um, where. All right, let's check it out over here. Yep. All right, thief, do your thiefy stuff. Where the hell are you guys going? All right, I'm going to give a listen. All right, I'm going to check. I'll hit pause just to make sure. Oh, looks like I have two checks. Both of you hear nothing on the other side of that door. Don't hear a thing. That's busted. uh, Yeah. Yeah, you open the door. The door is moving silently. Uh, This room looks like some sort of meeting room. It contains a long table. Um, At one end is a large chair. Uh, and then along the sides and various other areas, you can see some smaller chairs, some stools. There are several cell- shelves, uh, a smaller table that is not on the map, sorry, and a chair, and some miscellaneous uh, items. Uh, there's a mug, some paper, some, a knife, paperweight, various other things in the room. You can also see to the west wall a fireplace that has long since burned out. There is also a large uh, keg to the southwest. Okay, let's search it up. Keg. Keg stand. I'll have a look at the papers and the knife and see if there are anything to shake about. It looks like the paper is scraps of paper uh, from some previous work. Um, You're not exactly sure what it is. There's no uh, writing on it. It looks like it was torn from some other piece of larger uh, piece of paper. Uh, and I say paper, it's probably would be papyrus or something like that. Uh, the keg, uh, this large thing down here, uh, smells of ale from the sort of a spigot on the end of it. Um, you kind of open it up briefly just to kind of get a smell of it. It smells like cheap sort of beer or ale comes out of it. Still drinkable? 
Yeah, yeah, it's not rotten or anything. It's just not something that a dwarf Drog, would have, would Drog has a appreciate, but big draught of it and salutes all the dead giants. Sounds good. On the table itself, you can see, like I said, there's some mugs, uh, um, clay uh, things that were used to pour ale from. They all seem like the contents of them are sour. Um, any food on the table is probably not in a state that you would want to eat. Okay. There are some more wood pieces if you wanted to collect some for your torches. Um, I need Delwar, give me a blind gem roll, G D10, or D6, please. D D6, you say blind gem? Yep. What are the rest of you guys doing um, other than the two dwarves? Uh, Blackmouth's searching, but you know he's looking for anything that's like uh, if there's anything written down, any kind of papers, uh, anything that might be useful for a magic reagent or just anything interesting. Okay. You and Delwar kind of run into the same sort of situation where the, the paper that you find, the papers, is not really got any writing on it. It looks like it was pieces of paper that were torn off for whatever reason you're not sure, uh, but there is no writing on it. Um, Delwar, whenever you move to this particular place here, uh, actually over here, you see something that catches your eye. Looks like uh, in the seam of the logs within the wall, and this, this place is made of logs. It looks like, and you can kind of see a, um, a place in the wall where you think if you push that it probably would open up a passage or a door. Uh, it's you can see the seam to where it's a shape of a giant. It's massive for you. So for you know, it would be it would probably take you and somebody else to kind of open it if that's what you wanted to do, or if you wanted to pass it on to your party members. I'll, I'll have a listen first, and then I'll tell them. Okay, you listen, and you don't need to make a roll. Um, you don't hear any sounds on the other side. Sounds yeah, very quiet. Yo, uh, I think I found a door over here. Did everybody check that north room already? Was it? Are in? you invisible? Yes. I am. He whistled, but it, and the whistle came from down south here. Yeah, yeah. I, keep coming. Keep coming. Was that north room empty? No, there's stuff in here. Uh, yeah. You. Uh, I didn't know you opened that door. I'm gonna drag you guys out because you didn't tell me you were going there, so I wasn't looking there. Right now, we're in the south room. Uh, when you guys want to examine that room, let me know. But right now, we're on uh, Delmar. Well, I would say let's search that north room and then come back to the secret door. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Uh, let's see. I am going to pause it. So, uh, we'll say that... Who was the first... Was, um... Uh, Jason, did you go through that before Del, uh, before Drog? I did. Okay. Oh, that's Archie. I cannot see you. Move yourself up to the door, please. I cannot see you. All right. So I'm gonna unlock the door and open it up and then pause it. All right, so whenever you open up the door, one second. So the room itself looks like it has equipment that would be used by giants. Uh, there are shields, arms, you know, uh, big axes, big clubs, uh, some large capes, some spears, various other things within the room, but mostly all of it is the size of a giant in this room. Talk about tents. We can use those capes for tents. Indeed. Well, let's give it a good search before we move on, just in case there's some. Who's going to be doing useful. the searching? Uh, Drog's a military guy. He'll give it a good search. I can go through there as well. Drog and Sir Finfall do not find anything of interest. Any torches? Uh, uh, Blackmouth sure, no. Black made some more torches from the firewood. Maybe something, uh, maybe some of these, something in here is magical. Is that possible? If it's giant size, we can't use it anyway, though, right? Still could have value. 
that's true. Yeah, I didn't prep detect magic. I have detect magic memorized if you want me to cast it. I was just curious. I mean, if there was anything magical, they, the chief guy probably would have been carrying it. Yeah, I don't know if it, I'm wondering if it'd be in the general armory, but... But then maybe they didn't know they had it. Who knows? I don't know. If there was a mighty fine-looking scimitar in here, I'd be interested in it, but... <laughs> yeah, are there any weapons that are, like, human size or, you know, maybe, like, orc size or... From your search through, it looks like it is a lot of spears, a lot of capes and shields and axes and things that are about the size of giants. You know, I can detect magic as well. Are those piles of rope in there? Uh, it's just full of fluff, meaning it makes the room not look empty. Yeah, that's just our artistic license. Yes, and this is a map that I made. Like, whenever you go into a room and it says there's a 50 giant beds and there's only five, it's because I can't fit 50 giant beds in a room. So, All right, let's go to the secret door. All right, no detect magic. We're going to the south to look at the secret door. Uh, I, let's see. Who is doing something with the door? Uh... Delwar is the only one that know how knows how to open it. He's the one that found it. I'll uh, I'll take Drog and, and show it like by his by his wrist, and I'll put his hand right on the uh, the crack and show it to him. So I'm not going to go uninvisible. Okay. Yeah, it wouldn't make you uninvisible to open it. Just yeah, Drog, yeah, I mean, Drog's fine to open it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you you open it up, and inside, let's see. Wow, there is a lot of Texas on this thing. You see a set of stairs. Let's see, draw a card, draw a see. see a set of stairs leading down. Uh, you can also see there are several scroll tubes in this room laying about in the walls. And you guys kind of uh, rummage through them, looking at them. And, um,. You can see some of the tech. Uh, I don't think anybody reads Hill Giant. I don't think so. But no. one of the words that catches your eyes is Morgana Nightshade is like in the signature of one of the scrolls. Shouldn't I be able to like read languages? As a, as a uh, you can't possibly. Uh, you okay. have a chance if you've put points into it you could do it even better and I can't see your token on the map I I'm see still by the door I'm invisible you're probably underneath Drog that's uh no yep. I don't see yeah I'm underneath Drog yeah he's under Drog I moved Drog Drog's not there and he's not there well he can't see him so unselect him then oh he's okay. there I can see him oh yeah okay yeah, me being the idiot. Uh, okay, yes. Uh, let me look at your character. Let me. You need to make a skill check for uh, read languages. And if you've not put any points into that, you will not have an opportunity to do so. Oh, all right. I don't know if I did or not. I don't remember. Uh, make the check. Uh, you do not recognize any of the language that is written there. You do not even. Uh, understand that Morgana Nightshade is the name in there. But the rest of anybody else that looks at it is going to recognize her name that can speak common. You roll really so, bad, sorry. Where That's on okay. the character sheet is languages put? Is that under skills? What so for you, uh, under the fists to uh, tab, you can look at mm -hmm. your skills. You have so languages modern, which I assume is for common. So each language modern would be something like common or elvish or dwarfish or that sort of thing. And since you didn't okay. put a parentheses and then say common or uh, elvish or whatever, I'm assuming it's common. Common. Okay. Sir. I have ancient language. And it is not an ancient language. And Archie can't read. That's what I was trying to look for. I wanted to see where under him 
Uh, let's see. What, what is the skills? I'm not going to Giant lore. And he's got giant lore. You can give him a wisdom check. Go ahead and do with his giant lore. And let's see. Give me a blind gem roll, please. Blind gem roll. When you click the skill, it should pop up a thing. There you go. I love those dice. So it looks like it is definitely written written in uh, Hill Giant. Uh, it seems to be some sort of uh, request to meet, and you can tell that the requester was Morgana Nightshade, and she was asking them to meet um, previously a couple of days ago. Nothing about topics. No. I mean that that's kind of a language thing. This is a giant lore thing. Okay. I mean, I'm giving you a little bit of leeway on that. All right. So the chances are we probably should just gather these up and then see if we can find somebody that can translate. I agree. So but you can on. see a set of stairs that lead down. Okay. The only thing bugging me is this one room to the south we didn't ever go to. You're assuming a room is there. Well, there was a door that we didn't open. Is there? Oh, okay. Yeah. Break through the wall. Well, hold on. Let me use my ring of X-ray vision and see what's in there. Oh, good. Where? South? Yes, on the other side of the wall. Okay. Uh, let's see. You can see... It looks like a lot of uh, several pallets or sort of... Um, Modern day would be sleeping bags, but they're not really sleeping bags. Or uh, I'm gonna move you into the room so you can see. Uh, but it looks like a sleeping area for larger, not giant size. Uh, give me the intelligence check. You can do that out in the open. Uh, we're not sure if they're giant sized or something else, uh, but you suspect it's some kind of sleeping area for creatures. Uh, but there doesn't seem to be anything in here at the time. And okay, but it's a bunk that. room, right? Yeah, that's what it looked like. I mean, again, this is assuming uh, Finfall tells you, but yeah. Hey, what should I should I make an item for Drog to put in the bag about the scrolls? Um, that is up to you. If you want to keep track of it, yeah. Do you need a scroll case? I have one. I think there's a lot of scrolls. Yeah, I mean, I'll just take take whatever they had and cram it in the bag of holding. So, all right. So all right. we got a set of stairs running down. I think down is good. You want me to uh, go silently? You want to move silently and move downstairs. All right. Those of you that want to sneak downstairs, give me a move silently check. If you need to make a hide and chest, go ahead and do that as well. You guys make your way down the stairs. I think the robes were in front, so we'll, um, let me go ahead and miss the robes in front. I don't see. Did I miss this? And I must have. Where? Oh, there it is. There we go. You guys are in the lead. Everybody else is behind you. You see the set of stairs leading down, and at the extent of your vision, you can see that there is a. Um, passageway that cuts off to your right looking south and I'm going to pause actually I'm going All to right. keep pause you tell me what you do and I will tell you what happens and I will move you well given the warning that we had about having no spells do we want to retreat and recuperate and then come back to go down Black Moth has a lot of spells left oh does he? okay yeah, All right. we've only had them really the one fight with the female giants. If we come to a nice defensible area down here, we might want to consider it, but I think we can keep pressing forward. All right. Outstanding. Just maybe not 20 hill giants at the same time. I have a question. Is this all stone structure? Yes, it's underground. You are definitely on the ground. You don't even need to check. I'm going to sneak forward and check around the corner. Okay. I'm going to put you right here. Get, if, if you want to sneak, if you want to move silently, uh, go ahead and give me the check. Yeah, since I've already, I, you've already got my rolls for those, right? Yep. I'll go ahead and move you right next to him. Cool. 
You guys should be able to see that the hallway continues to your... It would be west if you're looking at the uh, carnal directions. You can see that it goes west and it opens up to the south. What do you want to do? I would presume the, the rest of the party is waiting for you guys. So. Yeah, I'm going to sneak up and check around the next corner. Okay. I will move you Jack, to we can't see them. Uh, Surf and Fall could see them when they moved off. What is Dilworm doing? Is he gonna follow where he thinks Jason is going? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy that buy that square and get up to that corner. Okay, you guys get to that point. If you want to do anything, if you're like, oh, I want to move quietly, or I want to do something, you know, tell me what you want to do. You can see to the south it opens up into a larger room. You can actually see some kind of glittering sort of light that's hitting this wall here. Probably coming from the east of it. From there. Uh, I need Jason and Delwar, both of you guys give me a blind GM roll D6, please. Sure. Before we do anything else. Thank you. Oh, wow. Both of you guys notice at the same time. Uh, behind you, you guys are kind of looking around, um, focusing on the south, and you kind of turn around, and you see there's a seam on the wall, and you kind of feel a um, movement of air behind you on that wall right there. Both of you uh, eventually see that there is a secret door on that wall. If you would like to open it, you could. I think, we should, I think we should just see what's in this other room before we open another door. That's up to you. Um, just keep in mind that neither one of you can see each other. So, Jason, you're going to do what you do. Uh, what is? What did you want to do, Delwar? Can I Can I hear anything behind that uh, secret door? Okay, I'll move you up to it. Give me a check, please. You do not hear anything on this other door. Gun thread. What is your question? Yes, I'll... I would like to uh, cast augury. Okay. What well, does uh, keep in mind? You don't know what the guys have seen so far, so uh, keep keep that in mind when you ask your question. So uh, go ahead and cast your augury. You can go ahead and click and cast it, and then ask your question. Okay. I will ask if what is down here is. Uh, going to be good or bad it's a basic question but i just want to know well it's not going to be uh from the, the response you get is it's not going to be daisies and roses uh you suspect that it's not going to be something easily um dealt with okay so i will relay that to the members that are around me that uh, i have a bad feeling about what's down here Perhaps we should advance. All right. Uh, Delwar, you did not hear anything on the other side of the secret door. What did you want to do? Uh -huh. I'll have a peek down a little bit further before coming back and then letting the, the down main south. Can the you door. ping where you want to peek from? Okay. So you want to look around the corner. All right. I'll put you here. You guys can see that the uh, both you and Jason can see that the, the kind of gold light that's on this wall here is coming from over here somewhere. You don't know where, uh, you know it's on the other side of that sort of opening to the southeast. And do you want to continue south, southeast, or do you want to go back to the party? Uh, is this room, I mean, is there, it's just empty, it looks empty. Just, yeah, so. it is just a massive, large, it, in fact, the ceiling is really tall compared to the passage that you're in. Um, all, the only thing of, of note is that you can kind of see a golden light coming from over here somewhere. Yeah, I think, I, I think we should go back to the party. Sounds like a bossery to me. At least, at least bring, at least bring him up to, the, to here. Okay. Well. I think Doar is going to have a peek around the corner while he goes back. Just I'll ping where I'm going to go. Okay, do that. You want to ping? Okay, I think I see. You want to go here? Yes, that's what I'm trying to ping. It's not working though. Okay. Yeah, if you just click and hold, it should work. When you get to here, you can see over in this area, you can see gold 
and these glittering sort of stones, maybe gems, capturing the light from various areas in the, the room that you're not sure where it's coming from. Uh, and that is what is reflecting on the wall to the west. You don't see anything. All else. right. But it looks like a I'll pile it. of loot. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll walk across the doorway and then I'll walk back up to where the, everybody else is. Okay. Uh, go where you're going to go. I, I'm not sure what you mean by doorway, but oh, okay. All right. I'm going to tell these guys that uh, to come up and just go around a couple corners. It's not very far, but there is a secret door up here and then a big, giant, empty room. All right. I'm going to pause it. I'll tell everybody to stop. Yeah. yeah, the secret door is to the north. Oh, so behind where Jala is, kind of. You hear it, but Archie. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Give you guys an opportunity to take in. You want to clear that room. secret door room first, or? I think we probably should, yeah. I would like to do a blessing on the group. Okay. I'll put you here just so you can get better access to everybody. I'll move everybody actually in the closer. All right, go ahead and do it. Uh, Eric, it looks like you are continuously transmitting. Just if I, I'm going to remove the template. I think I got everybody, but there are some people that are invisible that I can see. So. No, you got them. All right. So what is the plan, gentlemen? I'll whisper that I'm going to open the, the secret door. <coughs> Eric, uh, you are uh, transmitting nonstop. Can you hear me? Yeah, my scroll lock key was stuck, I guess. Gotcha. Uh, we were just hearing your coughing and moving. Yeah, sorry chair. about that. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, Delwar is has said that he wants to open up the secret door. Are you guys ready? Prepared? Yeah, why do not? it? All right. Yeah, sounds good. What did I do? What did I do? There he is. All right, so I'm going to open the door. Hit the pause button. You can see ahead of you a large-ish room. You can see a chest, some coffers, some crates, some boxes from where you were at. And this is Delwar and so Finfall since you guys are out there. Archie can see it too. Uh, Jason, you can see it as well. What do you guys want to do? Enter the room. All right. Uh, as you move into the room, Sir Finfall, followed by the Silver Goblin, they get to right here. The floor opens up and they fall into a pit. Oh. I need. Oh dear. Uh, Sir Finfall, give me a save versus poisons, please. Oh. Wow. Public? Uh, yes, you can do it on the open. All right, you slip. I uh, not you don't slip. You, you fall into a pit. And at the bottom of the pit are spikes. Fortunately for you, you only get nicked by one. Uh, uh, Unfortunately, though, that spike seems to be coated in some kind of green gunk. But that gunk does not have any effect on you, and you are you only take one point of damage. And you see standing next to you is the silver gun. The rest of you see the floor heading into the next room. The Delwar, you saw the, the floor. It opened up as a pit trap. And whenever they fell into it, the floor snapped back up. Well, uh, looks like we lost one. Might as well go <laughs> home now. <laughs> I'm going to walk up to the edge of the pit and uh, tell uh, Finfold, quit messing around. <laughs> quit living up to your name. So you're going to move up to here? How about... Uh, Our... That's the same thing I told him when he was dancing with those shoes on. So I know the trap is there. Do I have to detect trap to figure it out, no, or is it no? Okay. Neither you or Jason need to detect it. You know it's there. Yeah. So we need to pry the lid open. We need and some then get some rope down to it. Yeah, we need some rope. Drug's got all that stuff: grappling hooks, rope. Okay. 
You gotta get it open. No. Who's gonna do that? How about this? You, I'll, you put the rope around me, and I'll walk across. Just don't let me fall down. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, short short rope so that when it when the floor gives way, he'll just slam into yeah. the. Yeah. yeah and then so... when it opens up, be no, ready. Like, Stick something well, in there. Well, hold on. So let, you know, Drog gets the rope wrapped around you, and he anchors himself with the rest of it, and he keeps it taut. So all you need to do is ease your way out onto the flap and start to find the balance points when it starts to open. And then Drog will make sure you don't, you know, just crash down in. Right. And he gets ready to dust that. All right. So you guys are very careful. You move in. Uh, let me see if I can. Yeah. I will move you to here. Uh, you guys should be able to see him now. Uh, so Delwar moves forward. He is invisible, but he has a rope tied around him. So you can see the rope going into this invisible sort of... Uh, it's tied into the middle of nothing. Uh, but the, the floor opens up, and it looks like... I mean, you guys can't see, but Delwar holds him across, you know, holds him open. And at the bottom, you can see uh, Sir Finfall uh, standing in the midst of a bunch of iron spikes... Um, only being, you know, stabbed by one, but at the bottom. So, you can re react or answer to them, Sir Fentil. I'm gonna say, you should have let a dwarf across there. We could have found it first. Yeah, I won't do that again. Won't hey, Finfall, can you climb up on top of Silver Surf Surfer? And then we can scramble you out with the rope. How tall is, how far down am I? It is over 10 feet. Yeah, my, so let me, is Silver Surfer like near the edge of it? No, he is behind no. you. He's always behind you. He follows you. I have boots of levitation if that helps. That helps. <laughs> you want to levitate down and what do you want to do? We could get one of those giant chairs and throw it down there and he can stand on it. Don't we, don't we have just, more rope? Just Can't levitate, we just haul his ass yeah, out levitate the rope. Yeah, just, we, we got tons of rope. Just toss it down. I'll toss them. I have 50 foot of rope in my backpack. Okay. I'll mm -hmm. get it out of my backpack. I also have mm -hmm. rope handling skill. So you guys uh, want to pull him out on the side that you're on? Well, that's that's kind of what I was asking. Do we want to go into the room or do we want to come back out here? Well, we need to get into the room somehow. I can so, get into the room. That's not that big a deal. Yeah, for Delwar and uh, Jason getting you know kind of clamoring across the walls is not a difficult task for rogues well i've got um, the slippers of spider walking that really helps too yeah so go go loot the place and we'll get fin fall out on this side so i gotta take off my boots and put on my slippers okay and i'll toss fin fall my rope and you know we can haul him out of there okay you, you guys are you guys are working on getting Sir Finfall and, uh, by extension, um, the Silver Gun out. Uh, Jason, you uh, switch to your slippers of spider climbing and slide across the wall easily and get to the other side. What do you want to do? You see, and I will describe the room again. Uh, there are various items in the room. There is a large chest, an iron box, a small coffer. Uh, two small coffers um, in the uh, s northwest up here. It looks like there is a yellow growth of some sort of substance uh, on the wall. What do you want to do, Jason? Be careful with that. That sounds like some kind of mold or something. Yeah, like that. exactly. I don't like that. Um, I'm visible, I'm, so I turned I turned my ring off. So, gotcha. yeah. um, would it be? Is there so something over got, here I could? There could is. Anchor? There's a there's a there's a box over here. There's a chest over here. A crate over here. There's another crate over here, and uh, then there's the yellow sort of stuff on the wall over here. Hey, is there, is there anything in this room I could anchor a rope to? Look for a mechanism to turn that trap off, because. Giant had to be able to get in that room somehow. Or they could just step across it. Or they stepped across it. Yeah, yeah I was saying, because when the, when the. You when don't the see anything to tie anything to. There's nothing to tie anything to. That sucks. That's okay. Does anybody want to let. Room. Does anybody want to let. Anybody else want to levitate over here? I can. Yeah. 
because I'm a little worried about the mold. Otherwise, I wouldn't be that worried about it. Yeah, uh, I'll throw Jason my rope and then levitate, and you can just pull me over. Have him pull you across. Okay. Perfect. Uh, you guys both get to the other side. You both should be able to see what I described. There's crates and chests and iron boxes, and then the yellow stuff kind of on the wall over here. Yeah, I'll check the <clears throat> the uh, chest. See if there's any traps. Right. Once Finfall comes out, does the door close up? Uh, yes. Whenever they, whenever there's nobody blocking the path, uh, which I'm gonna assume Delwar's gonna move up to here, uh, it closes back up. Uh, Jason, you it? do not find any uh, traps on that chest. All right, I'm gonna check and see if it's locked. I want to know if you have an extra the chest. Uh, Can we wedge the trap door? Give me a second. I'm uh, helping Jason right now. Uh, there, it doesn't seem to be locked. There's no like padlock or anything on it. All right, I'm going to open it. All right. And there it is, sir. You should be able to double click on it now. Sorry, I had pause on it. Holy cow. The mother Jala. Well, tell Jala, I think there might be more gold here than than we could possibly take. <laughs> we got a bag of holding. Drog is very determined to excavate the gold. Yeah, does the bag of holding have a weight limit? It does, technically. We'll find yeah. out what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have to find out. No, I'll check out that uh, iron, was it iron box that was on the other side of the desk. All right, what are you doing? I'm going to check for traps. Okay, give me that. I got a church to build. You find no traps, but there is a lock on the iron box. Okay, I'll try to op- I'll try to open the lock. All right, give me a pick lock check then. And you can do that on the open if you want. You'll know whether you unlock it or not. Oh! Oh, boo! Boo! Everything going right in there. I'll just <laughs> I'm not a very good lock pick. Do you need oh, a little we, probably, we could probably just pick it up and just take the whole thing. Well, you do have Delaware. Delaware can can try as well. Can he get over here? Somebody throw I, like I could uh, carry him. Yeah. Uh, throw the gnome. Throw the gnome. No, I can carry him. Like, I don't, we don't even have to toss him. Just yeah, you him. could you could have somebody pull you back across. Yeah, exactly. Pull them back across with Jason. All right. All right. We'll, we'll we'll pretend we'll, we'll hand wave that happened, and no, I have no need to gnome throw. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Delwar, give me a uh, open locks check. You are attempting to unlock the metal box. Was there just oh. gold in that chest, Jason? Yeah, twenty three thousand gold pieces. Delwar has Holy no shit. luck opening that lock either. However, Delwar does, uh, he is familiar with molds and fungi and that sort of thing underground. And he is kind of examining the thing to the northwest. I have Dust Devil ready to cast. Just in case. He's like, that doesn't look like mold. What does it look like? It doesn't look like mold to to Oh, is it an illusion? And being that he is an illusionist, uh, Delwar kind of suspects that it is not reality. And that's what he says, whether it actually is or not, is, is up to you guys to determine. But that's that's what did you know, Delwar. Whether you pass it on to anybody, how you pass it on to anybody is up to you. I'm going to say that is not reality. <laughs> Just like you said. I disbelieve. I disbelieve. <laughs> hey, let's let's figure right. out how to get everybody over there, and then use those detect magic spells that we saved wisely. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna make you guys figure out how to, to individually drag everybody across. I can presume that, Chalaman, if you guys really want to have a rope puller on one side and pull him across, and he holds somebody and drags you across and all that, you can eventually, if that's your choice. That would be the hard one. I Easy enough. We take. Out. We take the table and we flip it over and put it across and we make a bridge. 
That's what I was thinking too. Perfect. That works perfect. It's a giant table. It's longer than 10 foot. It'll fit across it. There you go. Boom. Done. All right. So everybody gets across. Uh, I don't need to actually put you over there. Um, so what was the specifics of who, who, who other than uh, Delwar? If somebody had some questions. I was just saying we need this is a good time for the detect magic. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've got it too, so I can cast it if you want to save yours. Okay, yeah, you go for yours, and I'll save mine. Box. I can see if someone can unlock that box. Wasn't there another uh, lockpick specialist? No, you had two people. Oh, we, we already them. tried it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's me, unfortunately. So Anybody you got knock memorized? Blackmouth does not. Otherwise, just, you can smash it with a big hammer, but it might break whatever's in there. I don't want to cast the tech magic. And uh, going from left to right, let's see, he's scanning the room. The uh, presumed looks like to the rest of you, some kind of yellow mold is definitely has an aura of magic. I can't um, hear anybody talking. What do you mean? Can you not hear any of the other? You can't hear like Coop or Delwar or anybody else? Oh, he must not be able to hear me either. <laughs> I'll hear me. <laughs> Let me text him. We can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Let me text him. All right. Crap. I've texted him. I can't hear anybody talking. I only just myself. Crap. Uh, so, um, the detect magic, the only thing in the room that kind of has an aura of magic is the northwest in the area where the, uh, what looks like yellow mold is on the wall. Um, what are you doing, Delwar? No magic in that chest? No. Only thing is that one area that I mentioned. All right, so I'll, I'll walk up to the, uh, the crates and I'll walk up to the mold and I'll, I'll put my hand on it and see if I can pass through it. Yeah, you absolutely can. And when you do, let's see, what does it say this actually is? Just stick my head through first. So it doesn't really say what it is other than the fact that it is a illusion of your yellow mold. Um, so you, you kind of poke, it's like the, the yellow mold is on, is creating an illusion of a wall where there's not one. And then you kind of push through it and you can see the wall is like, you know, behind it a little further. Uh, behind that, you see several things and I'm going to make this visible nobody else click this please but him so it should be loose valuables you should be able to click that now okay I logged out of discord and logged back in now I can hear you okay cool I don't know what happened but I just couldn't hear anybody all right Del Water, do you see that I do yeah Hopefully all right everything um, is showing up yeah I'll I'll just uh, kind of tell everybody what I see Okay, go for it. And, yeah, and there's, a, there's an arrow, there's a spear, there's a bastard sword, a long sword, a black metal chain mail. Or is that black metal chain? I can't chain. tell. Chain, it's a chain. It's like a long chain. chain. It's probably about if you just kind of, it's and it's a con, it's connected chain. It's not like a single chain, it's like connected. Mm -hmm. So it would be a circle if you laid it out probably would be about 10 foot in a circle if you stretch it out and then there's a map and a wand uh also um does any of this show up as magical when i look into the bag all of it is all of it is holy shit right so i, I grab the bag and i kind of walk back to the middle of the room and i show okay need so more it's, not, it's, it's not really a bag i i loose valuables and stuck in a bag so you could pick them up it's basically behind the yellow the pretend yellow mold illusion so you will either need to pick right. it up or let somebody else uh you know pick it up uh, since you're the only one that can see it probably you would be the best person for that okay. is there a fast way to pick everything up or just drag and up. drop it onto your token or to your character sheet either one should work let me let me move this hold on a sec okay in the wrong spot so i can't it can't be looted while the game's paused oh sorry fixed it yeah you should be able to drag and drop it directly onto your token or to your character sheet yeah i'm putting it on my token right now okay 
And I, I don't think I'm missing anything else. Nope. It looks like it. That's it. Yeah, you got it all. You got it all. Alrighty. You step back from the wall and you can uh, examine the things that you picked up. Uh, let's see. So like I said, the chain that you found was like uh, about 10 foot, you know, if you made a circle out of it, it would, you know, you could put it around a circle complete, you know, 10 foot across. Um, That's the, the one that actually interests me the most. Yeah, the, the two swords, one is a long sword, one is a bastard sword. You also found a spear and 11 arrows. Uh, let's see. I don't think there was. Oh, and then the, the, the wand itself looks like um, it looks like a mini sort of representation of a torch, um, wand size. You know, not not just a tiny little toothpick thing. But um, right. the you were interested in the black chain. The chain. I'm curious what that is. Yeah. The metal is. Um, you, you're not familiar with the metal that it's made of, but it seems really light. The uh, construction of the, the links itself are very well done, much better than most of the metal that you've seen before in your sort of experience. So, <clears throat> But it's not something that you would use to, you know, it's not big enough a chain to carry you know that, that you could you know like like that was used for that cave bear that you guys saw earlier it, it's much smaller than that it's bigger than a necklace but smaller than like a, a pet sort of chain for a cave bear if that right helps. so it's so sort of high about half the, yeah the links are probably about half the size of a coin so uh didn't somebody need a, a long sword before or something like that i could use that spear probably i don't have a magic weapon yeah, the spear oh, yeah. probably for Jala. I don't know. I think uh, Finfall was looking for a long sword at one time, just because I think he, he has a magic sword now. But that one we just found might be better. Yeah. Well, yeah, but if I have a long sword, I don't get two attacks per round. My broadsword gives me two attacks per round. Oh, and it's okay. Magic. Did we find a bastard sword or a broad? broad you found sword? a bastard sword and oh, a long bastard sword. sword. Okay. Yeah. Can anybody use that? I don't know. Both of them look very well made. In fact, uh, uh, since I have recently watched the Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, they look elvish made. Well, we are taking them, no matter what. And yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how to initiate trade. Uh, on the bottom left, there's a request trade down the bottom left. Somebody can do that with you if they want to, like, say, hey, uh, if, if you want to give me the spear, they'll request trade. It's, it kind of works like an MMO trade thing. Yeah. So it'll pop up a thing, a menu, and then you drag, you click on the things that you want to trade. They'll click on the things they want to trade, and you click accept, accept, and it'll swap. The last picture shows a scroll. Is that actually a scroll? Is that something else? Uh, it's a map, you said, right? Yeah, that's the map he picked up. Okay. Well, Blackmouth is very interested in the wand. And then Drog's happy to store whatever, and he would really like to see how much gold he can cram in the bag. Plus whatever. Thanks. Items are needed. Yeah, yeah. Did you want to uh, pass the wand on to Blackmouth? Because if you do, yeah. I can just drag and do, drag and drop that. Let me yeah, see where it is. I'll move him over here, and I will do that for you. Hopefully, I can do that correctly. Yeah. Okay. Wand is on black mouth. Was there anything else you wanted to swap to somebody else? He gave me the spear. Okay. Yeah, I I think we can just throw everything else into the bag of holding. I want to I want to analyze the uh, the chain to see if I can figure out what it is at some point. Uh, Okay, so you've got arrows, bastard sword, and long sword, uh, and map. Where, where do you want me to put those for you? I, and I can do this. You can do this. It's up to you. Yeah, I don't. I think it might be faster for you, and that'll save okay. us some game time. Yeah, yeah, it is definitely uh -huh. faster. I will put the. Um, so I will presume Blackmouth is going to be the one identifying anything that's magic. So I will put the two swords on him, and then you have arrows that you knew were magic. So. Blackmouth, do you want to pick up the arrows and look at those before you pass them on to somebody else? Does he have a chance to identify without casting the spell? Yeah. Don't I have that ability or not? 
Um, not as an illusionist, but Black Mouth would as uh, uh, if he made a spellcraft check, and they are like a you know normal, and I say normal, they are not special things. Yeah, like plus ones. Yeah, yeah. Black yeah. Mouth's more than happy. He, man, he's just a nerd, man. He just wants to study and inspect everything. Okay, so I put the arrows and the two swords on him, and we'll deal with that after uh, we deal with Delwar. Delwar, you wanted to look at the black chain, so give me. Do you have any kind of spellcraft uh, skills? Let me look at your. Yeah, let me look at. Let me look. I think I do. Yeah, you do. Make a spellcraft check, and you can do that blind general, please. So this is something that you have not seen before. You kind of examine the chain. You look really closely and you can see there's markings on each link. But it seems to be outside of the experience that you've had with spells. All right, I'll pass it over to Blackmouth as well. But, uh, you know, uh, just say, hey, I want to I'm curious about this one and just give it over to him. Yeah. I will that do that for fascinating. You. Yeah, you, you uh, unfortunately you failed by like five on the check, so. Yeah, what's the what's the map look like? What's what's that a map of? Uh, the map is actually a map of a region of mountains. Um, and let me see if I can get a better description. Let's see. So, on the map that uh, you have, uh, you can see an image that is kind of uh, inscribed in the map that has the uh, markings and the shape you know, of, a, of a chain. So you can recognize that there's something on the map that kind of correlates with the chain. Um, the map itself looks to be a region higher in the mountains in a frigid sort of glacier uh, a, a map of a glacier region that you're not familiar with but you know talking about with uh, Gunthrid and uh, Drog and even Blackmouth can offer some insight into where it probably is you guys have a good idea of where it is you suspect that the with that knowledge you, you suspect that the map you know that the chain was magic so you suspect that that there is some way to use the chain uh to uh transport yourself to it's that like region. portal yeah. yeah um and black mouth is kind of familiar with this sort of tech and, and i say tech uh just because you guys would understand that terminology but um in a, in a in the magic sort of realm it, it's sort of a standard sort of um uh, transportation process that they use as wizards you know they'll they'll either use chains or rings or circles uh you know that sort of thing uh, but in this case uh, the the giants they had a chain that they used to transport themselves to this other area um, you suspect it's probably with another uh, group of giants um uh, at least that's what uh, archie thinks he Mount suspects giants. It. Uh, it's some sort of giants in a uh, a frozen area, and he says, um, more than likely, it's probably frost giants, um, and they are probably frost working giants. with the hill giants, um, allied with you know maybe they're allied with a witch, maybe they're not. He doesn't know. He just knows that in that region, more than likely, that particular type of giant would be there. When we busted up the party, were there frost giants in their room? No, there were not. There was the was gray. The, no, there was not. That was not a frost giant. Um, and, and since you guys have Archie with you, he's like, no, that was not a that was not a frost giant, sir. That was a. Uh, uh, if you had paid attention to his skin color and his hair, and everything else, and his uh, eloquence with speech, that was a claw giant. Ooh. Um, yeah, the other and, gray and ones he left, were stone right? giants. There was he left. Giant. Yeah, he left. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. The I cloud giants know. stayed. The stone giants left. The um, stone giants left. That's yeah. Right. The cloud giants are not necessarily good guys. Uh, they tend to not be on the side of good generally. Um, but the stone giants that did leave um, are ones that are generally neutral, not typically bad 
but you know, as a general principle on their, you know, their sort of behavior. Um, doesn't mean that they can't be, but in general they're not. Uh, but based on what the witch has done to some of these guys, he is not sure how any of these guys are going to react. So, so going through that portal might be the the next step that we're supposed to take or that we should take. But before we take that risk, I think we should have Gunthrid, uh, you know, do his thing with the prophecy. Dreams. Oh yeah, and Black you guys Mouth will need a rest today. Black Mouth is totally geeking out. He's saying big words and talking really fast. But the gist of all that is he thinks we need to study it. And Just, it's an option, but it's dangerous, and we're not ready. I don't think yeah. right now. But that's that's definitely the trajectory. Yeah. I also have a divination spell, so I can um, get some more insight on it. And the big glittery room with all the gold down there, I'm pretty sure that's a trap of some sort. We just found the treasure. I'm well, what about sure. all the gold? I Another illusion? No, I'm saying all the gold that's in that chest. Oh, the 25,000? Throw it in the bag of holding, I yes. guess? As soon as we're not paused, Drago. Oh, sorry. Go ahead and do that. Don't move out of the room, please. Don't move past this area, at least. Um... As far and now, Black Mouth, you were probably wanting to look at the various things that you picked up. Yeah, I want to show him the spear for sure. So, uh, Black Mouth has a bastard sword, a long sword, some arrows, and the black chain. The black chain, I'm going to go ahead and I don't think it changes anything for me to identify it, but you guys spend enough time futzing around with it. Um, you kind of understand it. I don't think there's any description on it. No, uh, it just says adamantium magical chain. But you know uh, what it's used for based on what Ooh, you adamantium. Um, so you have the bastard sword, long sword, the arrows, and the wand. You know, all of them are magic um, in the past. And this is something that is kind of a house rule. I allow a spellcraft check to kind of determine if an item has... Uh, some kind of basic functionality if it's a special thing you're not going to know that but um assuming you make the check so can he figure make, out if it's cursed um no if he's successful no. Uh, he'll just think that if it's a cursed thing and it and it pretends to be a plus one you know uh spear it could be a plus three backstabber for all you know it won't know he won't know for sure until he does an identification on it okay and that's kind of right. the thing with all magic items. So, what does Black Mouth want to do? Well, all right. Well, let's take a look at the bastard sword. Okay, give me a skill check. Or did I need to do that? Uh, uh you have absolutely no clue what that yeah, thing is. That is definitely a bastard sword. Yep. <laughs> it's a letter opener. Let's take yeah. a look. Uh, you know it's magic. You, the only reason you know it's magic, magic is because uh, Delwar tells you it is. He's insisting it is, but you you have no clue what if yeah, any look kind like of it. Me at all, man. Yeah. I'm not, you I'm are like, absolutely yeah. clueless what it is. <laughs> it's like, are, are you, you sure? You guess that's still right? I don't know about that. Uh, you want me to do this skill check private or? No, oh. you could throw that. Oh, well, I mean, you probably should do it out, uh, Blind GM roll. Because that could have lied if you had done that one. Uh, this one, um, it is. That's the long sword. Yeah. So when you um, are trying to determine what it is, um, you're looking at it and you know that it has probably, it's at least a plus one. Uh, and, and I say that as in, in a term that's, you know, not within the game, but just in, you know, meta stuff here. Uh, but it also has some indications that there's definitely some other abilities that are within it. You can see that there are runes that indicate flame, uh, some other things on it. Um, you don't know. You know, without doing some identification, you're not sure what that means. Okay, you know so that I just it's at least you need you know that it's at least magic, and it would you know, and, and there's no really you know terminology I can use that would you know translate into non meta gaming, but it's at least a plus one. You know that. Yeah. So so Black Mouth just reports that that one's definitely worthy of a identify spell when we rest. So yeah. all right, let's check the arrows. All right. Uh, those are simple, magical arrows. Plus two. Yeah. They say. Um, 
Who shoots a bow? Archie. Yes, he does. You know, Archie's probably the best. With you know, the bow. put him on yeah. Archie. Yep. Okay. And he's been doing really well. I think you can just drag and drop on his token. I hope that you can do that, anyways. That's the way it's coded, anyways. And if you can't, let me know. I'll do it. I could not. Did a bitch? What did it say when you tried that? It didn't or do did nothing. It? Okay, yeah, it's probably because you don't own the actor. I will do it. Uh, no, don't combine it with sheaves. All right, Archie has the arrows. All okay. right, so the last no. thing is the wand. I want to show him the spear, too. Okay. Which one do you want to check next, the wand or the spear? Uh, let's do the wand and then the spear. Okay. Uh, the wand definitely is going to require you to... Uh, using identification, you know that it has some effect on the elemental fire. Wand of fire with 100 charges. Come on. You don't, you don't know exactly what it is. I mean, I said it looked like a torch, uh, a mini torch. Um, it's you, you, you know, based on the runes and markings that it has something to do with fire. Uh, you don't know the 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 uh, word to activate it. Uh, you would re it would require an invocation to do that. So okay, very I useful. Really hard not to giggle, but one of them slipped out, so you just can't. can't okay. Contain. All right, let's and look. And now it. the spear. Who has that? Is that on? Is that actually? Uh, it's, it it's on me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so give me the blind gem roll for spellcraft on the spear. Not not Jala. That's you, Black Mouth. Okay. Uh, Blackmouth looks at the spear, and he can. He looks at the runes, and he um, he's he kind of sits there and he's counting and calculating. And you see, he's thinking. And he says, "This spear is very potent. It is a." And he tells you what it is, and you can see what it is uh, mechanically, oh. <laughs> but uh, uh, in game it is considered a very potent plus three spear. Wow. Hey, oh. Ah, plus three. Holy moly. That's a good one. That's a good yeah. spear. Right Heck there. yeah. It's not a dragon spear, but hey, it's a spear. Well, at least I can hit undead and stuff now. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 You, can't, you, can't, you couldn't hit iron goblins, but you could definitely hit. Uh, no, I was bouncing yeah. off the iron goblin. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like um, Black Mouth has three things to identify. Is that right, or is there something else? Um, you have uh, on your person three things you need to identify: the bastard, yeah. the long, and the wand. I wonder if we should still identify the spear, just in case it's got more fun stuff on it. Wouldn't hurt. That would require at least a day per thing. Yeah, yeah, I got the you. constitution you know, requirements. Yeah. So, what do you guys want to do? You're, you're in there. Go ahead. No, yeah, I was thinking about this. We're in a room that's this might be a good room to post up. Yeah, exactly. We got a we got a hidden door. We've got a way to bar barricade the door. We got a trap. We got a trap. Door. Yeah. <laughs> like how 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 much better do you want? Well, we have our camp with our, you know, pack meals and stuff. Well, yeah, and before we take that portal, we should go back and talk to Patsy so we don't just disappear on him. Well, yeah, we could use that portal anywhere, though, isn't that kind I'm of? I'm sure. Portal? I'm sure we can. Yeah. 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 I'm just thinking, you know, that I, I think we ought to. Well, we got one. Out what, the, what else here. is left in this cellar? Yeah. Check that out. Then we can head back to our camp and then get ready for the next expedition. Okay, that's yeah, cool could, with me. We could get real greedy and go to that pile of gold over there, and I. I'm telling I, you, it's a trap. Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it's awful. What, hey, but I, I love what it. do we do with the lockbox? Oh, it's still, still, still locked. Oh yeah, someone should grab it. Is it, is it big enough to grab, or small enough to, to carry? Oh wow! I am sorry. I just need. I'm not kidding. Eight times. Oh my god. Uh, the lockbox weighs about a hundred pounds. Ooh. Can we bash that thing? Yeah. Open? Should we just smash it open? It, d it didn't glow magic. I'm not sure if they would work through the box or not, but... Right. X-ray through the box. Yeah, X-ray. Ah, that's true. Okay, so I'll just... It will be dark How does there, that X-ray work? Does it say? Uh, I don't think there's any limit on it. Does it not say per day? 
Let me look. Uh... Are you going to see that it in double? I've got two x-ray rings. I've got two of everything. I don't see two of everything, but I don't see an action that says, okay, I, I'm looking at your inventory. One sec. Yeah, there's no charges on it. Oh my God, my brain, it will not stop. I just sneezed like six more times. Oh man. Uh, it doesn't say. Then it's probably it like my animal ring and I can just use it whenever. Yeah, it doesn't say there's a limit. Uh, so I'm gonna presume you can. The box does not have any kind of lead. Iron oh or my steel. god. Sorry. I've been hitting the mute button every time until then. Um, it's just a metal box, so, but it's not lead. And you can see there is a pile of coins inside. Although X ray vision does not let you tell what type of coin it is, uh, there is a pile of them. All right. We should probably try to break just it. Just smash it open. Yeah. Smash it open. Yeah. Smash. Uh, I'm going to pull uh, my mace out and just try to smash the lock. All right, between you and Gunthrid and Drog and everybody else that has melee weapons or hammers, you are able to crack it open, smash the lock, and you open it up, and uh, not a pause. If the box is there. You can look at it. Who's ever going to open it? I'm sorry. I still like I'm, I have a cold oh, now. Right out. Okay. Uh, who, Drog, you've got the bag of holding? He does. Yes. Okay, you want you want to shove four thousand one hundred and thirty nine more platinum coins in there? Oh, Drog, Drog right would now. love to. Okay, <laughs> you can get into it and just shove it in there. Be able to buy a small country. Drog yeah, loves money. Well, platinum. I can build my castle now. <laughs> yeah, platinum is is highly valuable. That is five gold per. We just pulled like forty thousand gold pieces out of here, plus a half a dozen magic items. So there is also in the room that you guys haven't looked at. There's two crates that you guys haven't even touched. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, going to them. do this so where you can see them. It hasn't checked for traps or anything else, but they're there. You can see them now. Does somebody want to check for traps? I am wary about traps right now. I will do so, yeah. It looks like Jason is too. So Jason will pick one and Delwar will check the other. Jason, you do not find any traps on yours, and neither does Delwar. South, northwest, uh, northeast is Delwar, so this one is Jason's. That one is. Mine's filled Delwar. with a, uh, 17 pieces of jewelry. Good grief. I've got a gem. You guys have found the treasure room of the keep. Heck yeah. <laughs> <I'd say. laughs> Drog is yeah. more than happy to put everything in the bag. If you guys uh, would like Jason me to praise. put that on him, uh, Jason did not. What about Delwar? Delwar, do you want to put the gems on? Yeah, I can. I can even appraise the gem myself. I think. Since okay. Uh, give me three checks. Buy gem roll, please. We'll start with the blue, then the purple, and then the amber-looking color. <laughs> Actually, the blue one you don't need to. It's already identified. The two, the purple. Magenta looking one and the amber. God, I'm sorry. I sound like I just got a fucking gold. Sorry, I'm getting all the jewelry. Up. Do I have appraised gems? I thought I did. Uh, it would be appraisal if you had it. Then I don't. I'm going to have to. Oh, no, I've got gem cutting. I'm sorry. I got. I mixed that up. My fault. It's okay. Uh, it you, can, you can have, if you would like, you could have. Jason has appraisal. If Jason, if you would like to appraise the gems he has found, or if you want to let him do that, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Yeah, Jason, why don't you just open the the crate yourself and then have a look? All right, so this one up here. Jason, if you will give me a two blind jam rolls for appraisal. So the purple one, you are able to appraise. You should be able to see it. The other one. You were not able to. You're not sure what kind of stone it is. So you got the blue and the magenta purple looking pink thing. 
part of the vibe, but the other one, you're still not sure what the value of it is or what kind of stone it is. And then the 17 pieces of jewelry, are they all worth the same amount? Uh, I don't think there is a, I think they're identified straight up. It should tell you the value of them. It says, yeah, 300. Yeah, yeah. Well, so you free. know, I mean, it's just straight up just jewelry. It's either, it, it would probably be a mix of rings and bracers and whatever, but, you know, you can just assume that each piece is worth 300 gold each. Okay, that's what I figured. Uh, some of them are human size, some of them are elf size, some of them are dwarf, some of them are giant. You know, it just looks like a pot. I mean, imagine, you know, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean when they kick open a chest and there's just a pile of, you know, you know, mm, necklaces and bracers and rings and earrings and things and that's what it is just sort of a generic sort of jewelry thing all right i'm just gonna keep that in my backpack for now okay. the jewelry all righty uh delwar i think he's letting you uh pick up those three those three types of gems if you would like or i can put them on somebody else if you would like now is there any other boxes or crates we haven't checked out what was that delwar no, I was just saying we could just throw it into the, the community. The back of the Okay. Yeah. I'm going to put them on drug then. 41 gems. No, more than that. Yeah. One of uh, one type, the amber colored stone is not identified. They don't really know what that is. All right. Uh, the other question, uh, Jason, you had another question? Are there any other boxes or crates we no. haven't? No. Okay. No, you guys have looked at all of them. All right, you want to go check out the trap? <laughs> yeah, let's go check the trap out. <laughs> all right, uh, it is on pause. I'm going to presume you guys can make it across. I'm going to move you guys all. Actually, you can move yourself across. Just presume that uh, between Jolomon and ropes and all the other tables and things you guys have pushed across, you guys are able to safely make it across. Uh, stop here, please. Don't go any farther than here. Once you guys get to there, well, everybody, I'm waiting for Blackmouth and Drog. I've got my... Okay, now there's... They were connected, now they're not, so. Uh, when things go into combat or that sort of thing, it kind of uh, changes. So if you click on Drog and mouse over Blackmouth, then it should let you follow if you hit F. No, I'm saying that... They're, see how... Yeah. But now then, they're both got a yellow box around them or an orange. And if I uh, move you, one, he should... Oh, it stopped falling because I'm moving you. I need to okay. stop moving. Okay, now they're good. Okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, the people that are moving into the room, Jason, are you going to go in uh, without using your ring? Yeah, I'm just, but I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go right to there, though. Okay. What is Delware wanting to do? If you want to move into the room or at a position, give me a map ping where you would like to go. Sure, and I would like to move silently. Or, you know, if I have to hide in shadows too, let me know, I'll, but I'll do that. You're invisible, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, if you want to okay. move quietly, right. yeah, there we go. All right. Where do you want to move to? Right there. I see where you want to go. Want, right here? Yeah, like to the south side of that door, so I can look and see right if there? I can see up a little bit. Uh, just on the other side of that, the other, the, the southern side of it. Uh, can you ping that? Let's click and hold. Just point, get to the position you want to go to, click and hold, and it should ping it. Oh, the south side. Okay, down here. All right. Uh, Jalvin, what's your question? I would like sir? to cast Fine Traps. All righty, go for it. Uh, go ahead and cast it. I'll resume. Uh, what is the range on that? I don't remember. It's like 60 foot, something like that. Uh, it's area effect 10 feet by 30 yards. Well, 30 feet. So just to clarify, and this is something that Bill uh, was I been questions about. So whenever you see something listed as like 30 yards in a spell, it means 30 yards outside, 30 feet inside. 30 yards outside is going to be uh, a 10 foot, you know, three squares. Inside, it's going to be three squares. So just assume that it means three squares. Or if those squares are five foot per, it'll be uh, 60 squares versus you know, so it's basically just converting it to a unit of 10. Okay. So I let Jason know that I cast, I cast fine traps on myself. So if he wants me to come check something out, let me know. Okay. From where you're at, you do not see any traps. 
actually yeah no uh and so uh delwar you see like i said the and i think i mentioned it to you or it was either you or jason you see in the middle of the room a pile of coins and glittering stones does it look like there's a doorway up to the north on that it does. Room? there's a passage up to somewhere up here okay I'm going to sneak up to that corner, just on this side of that corner, to that passage. Can you ping it? Did you catch that? Uh, I did not. Uh, right here? Okay. All right. You move up to here. When you do... Uh, when you get to here, you hear this grinding sound above you. You hear this loud... <laughs> and right behind you, unfortunately... <laughs> is you see these large sort of portcullises fall down behind you and when you do the you hear the sound of these moving creatures that uh hold on let me get this other thing and this thing and this thing uh where is this uh, come on this thing you see this thing come moving down you see from the south you see two more from the shadows and from the corner you see step out another thing they all have wings they all have this you can see what they look like nobody else can cool i'm going to not move and try to use my invisibility to my favor yeah right now all they the, it seems that whenever the 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 portcullis is you know slammed down behind you that they came running like it, uh, oh that's the dinner bell we're gonna come out and uh they did and you see them and they're just kind of like <laughs> sniffing around let me see if there's if they, let me let me check them real quick let's see uh my nose just sounds horrible bye bye forever uh, let's see. I don't think they have any special ability to see. Those tokens look suspiciously like manticores. Uh, if you could see them. Well, at the you... top, I can see Delwar oh, and well, four you, you, manticores. You have to pretend you can't see them. <laughs> I'm okay. not saying it's the top. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's cheating. No, it's not cheating. It's pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, the, these, and that's one thing I noticed is that the, the thing that shows up at the top it shows things you can't see but you are right that is what they are uh delwar is probably not familiar with them because they're flying creatures they would be outside in, in the mountains and that's i think they live in the desert so yeah they're not something that he would be familiar with but he is quiet he is invisible they don't seem to be aware of his person they're kind of looking at the gates like what's going on they you know they, the one this one up here came from up north like okay it's dinner time and there's nothing there uh this one kind of moves up to here what is this uh don't want to do i'm gonna unpause give you guys the opportunity to do things um i will actually uh in uh remove the combat stuff because it's kind of confusing you guys I want to begin and end so it removes everything. Ignore that. <laughs> Come on. So end. can we assume that we heard the portcullises drop? We're slowly wandering south. Yes, yeah. you can. Looking it absolutely did. And when it did, uh, actually, um, <laughs> another one dropped at the same time. Let me hold this. Um, I forgot about this. Another one drops and it's in a different position it drops right there what? but oh. yeah and that puts the silver uh golem on the side so all right what do you guys well, walk away and he may destroy the port colors yeah he'll see if he tears <laughs> it down yeah. i can't move uh right, oh so sorry i'm pause um did do they seem to be staying right where they are? Are they, are they wandering at uh, all? They're kind of sniffing and looking around like they're absolutely expecting things to happen. Um, when, Sir Finfall, when you move south, the uh -huh. silver golem just kind of walks through the portcullis like almost like, I mean, he definitely paw, I mean, he doesn't pause. He just kind of 
pushes hands forward and just spreads the bars apart and steps through like almost like he is just super strong but again his face does not take on any kind of um uh, uh, you know, you know, appearance like you've seen before, where you saw Vala's sort of face, but in this, you know, it just kind of moves through the thing and just kind of like, okay, something's in my way. It moves, it, you know, it spreads it apart and steps through, like it almost doesn't pause at all and just kind of steps through. All right, unpause. Uh, that Delwar, what was your question? No, it was just whether they're moving around, and you, you answered it for me. Yeah, guess, they, they uh, kind of are. They're not really moving farther than where they're at, but they're kind of like, what's, you know, they are they seem to be confused. All right, I'm going to wait, but I think my I'm going to hold on to the uh, spell that I'm going to cast at some point, uh, depending on what happens next. All right, so when Drog and Black Market to there... The creatures kind of move and are looking uh, through the porculus. It, you know, it, it, the porculuses are actually really uh, uh, sh- narrow. Normally, I mean, I say normally. Uh, most of the time, they're a little farther apart, like prison bars. These are not. These are really close together. Um, those of you that are familiar with manticores, uh, such as John. Um, the manticores can't throw their spikes through the narrowness of these things and they're they're kind of looking on the other side like they're expecting something uh the, you know both all these guys kind of move over here looking like what 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 what's fucking going on uh Jonathan, what you got i assume Delwar. yeah i'm back yeah Sorry. i assume Delwar's on the other side of that with the manticores right uh, the assumption. You can't see him. I, I can't, you see, can't him. see him. Yeah. But something set off the trap. Yep. And you can see, uh, let's see where you're at now. You can see that, uh, yeah, there's uh, porculuses or traps. Are there any levers anywhere on any of the walls in this room that we're Not in? That you can see. No. And I'm pretty sure that the manacores can't attack, cannot attack through the portcullis, right? Uh, you suspect they cannot. What's the, just because I assume that my character would know this, if I am invisible and I cast another spell, I know I become visible. It but, depends on what kind of spell it is. But I so guess like what I'm going to say is... So like if you cast, uh, for example, if you cast Wraith Form, which is self only, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that would not break your invisibility. Uh, but if you cast uh, Charm Person, Sleep, Color Spray... Suggestion, no, Phantasma Killer. Yeah, Phantasma Killer, any of those would uninvisible you. Uh, yeah, that was going to do Wraith Form. Okay. Yeah, you can absolutely cast that, and it will absolutely let you uh, uh, slip through those bars uh, because you are in the form of a Wraith, basically, which is gas. You just slip through all that if that's what you want to do. Yeah, that's what I was thinking I was going to do so I could get out of there. That way we didn't have to worry about them trying to screw around yeah. and I could go out the other one and look for a lever out there. Yeah, you absolutely could do that. So target yourself, uh, click cast, click uh, effect, um, and it will keep track of the duration. During that duration... He, uh, I think he just cast it on me. He cast it on Jalvin. I'll remove that. It's on Delvar also. Sorry about that. All right, so you can move where you want to. Uh, keep, keep in mind that as time is ticking, the effect is expiring, so... Um, go ahead and move where you want to move. All righty. Um, you guys and don't as see I walk through, I, As I walk through, I just tell them, hey, I'm out. I'm, I'm running out to see if I can get us on the other side. Yeah. Can we I see that we he's did. clear through this? Oh, sure. He is invisible. No, <laughs> no, no, I don't he anymore. is invisible. You cannot see. You can hear his voice saying, hey, I'm, go- I, I've got, I'm on this side. <laughs> That's pretty much all you know okay well, anything, no, you know. we did hear that right yes yeah you can hear him it, it's just you can't see him uh i but say I that now sir finfall i can't see him when he's within a certain amount of space uh, of him yeah so i saw him come out now the yeah. thing is the other park call us it's got a giant over. bendy hole in it where yeah, all of you so guys can walk get out it. oh yeah. we could all get out of yeah yes, sure. we can yeah. get out of here yeah. okay but blackmouth is like do you know how many magic reagents are in those things <laughs> we can make all kinds of cool crap out of that. And there's four of them, or two of them, at least. There's a, four of them in there. 
that I've seen. What are you gonna do? Like fireball in there? Well, yeah. Can well, he, a fire can, might can do he it. arcana check to see if he can fireball through the? You port. can absolutely launch a fireball through there. A fireball just needs line of sight. If you want to launch a fireball into that room, uh, it would you know you just launch a little cinder that flies through and goes. Poof. Now whether it takes him out or not is now. You know, and the other it. thing is, does that render the body parts unusable? Uh well. Oh, it depends on if it burns them to, you know, burns them <laughs> up or not. You 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 suspect that the best way to collect those uh, parts would be to kill them in a fashion that involves swords and arrows and that sort uh, of thing well, because because yeah. acid and fire and coal oh, coal would be safer, uh, but fire and acid is generally going to disrupt the ability, you know, to use them in potions and. Alchemical and scrolls yeah, right, and that right, sort of thing. Right, right. Okay. Well, I got two fireballs on tap, ready to go. Uh, but can we open the portcullises though? Gollum can. Wow, well, he did it because he followed me. <laughs> I could set up a glyph of warding on the boat, the court, or the portcullis. What is that going to do though? That means if they pass through it, they take damage. Oh, but I don't think they're going to pass through it. I think the question is, is if if we kill them, can we get through? Can we even get to, to, get to their yeah. body? Yeah, that's the question. Yeah, guess I should have said that. Is it? I mean, is it even worth killing them? I mean, we have enough money; we can buy. I'm fine leaving them here. <laughs> well, no, I know, but you like, you want. Sure, so like a hundred grand and gold pieces out it's of there. Magic so. research. It's, you gotta have money, but you gotta have the material to do something with. Yeah, but if there's not some specific thing that you know you need the mana core stuff for, I don't really. Also, keep in mind that uh, Gunthrid saw that you know the the person that you guys have been trying to you know stop uh, saw you know he saw her taking something some from somewhere. Um, and now that Gunthrid and Drog are in this underground area, he recognizes the stone as she was in here, in this area, uh, at least in this wow. layer of stone, doing what oh, she was okay. doing. Okay, we got to keep going. Then. Somehow we yeah. got to keep going. What you guys do with that is up to you, but that that's kind of what you know. At least what Gunthrid would you know uh, mention. Hey, in oh. this room, did you say there was a pile of gold coins on the floor or something? Oh, in the other room where the there, bones yeah. are. Okay. Yeah, that's why we went into that trapped room, or that's why I went into that trapped room. So how do we open the portcullises? Because it's a moot point if we can't get these open. Well, that's going to take time to figure out. Yeah, we're not. Do you want to kill them first? What you got, Gunther? Okay, I don't really have a question. I just have a statement. You know, um, I can stipulate what kind of glyph that I use, I can actually make these guys blind if they walk through the glyph, which means if they can't see us, they can't hit us. But well, it doesn't disadvantage. necessarily mean that they can hit, can't can hit you. True, but, but they'd be a big disadvantage. A significant modifier for attacking me, yes. So I'll start looking for a switch or a lever or something, some way to open this port closure. There's got to be a way to open it. Right, where are you looking? I'll start right there. Right. What are the rest of you guys doing? You don't see any obvious levers on the wall. So. Do these things look way too heavy for even like all of us to lift, even try? You mean the creatures on the other side? No, no, the porticulus. I have an idea. It's too heavy like for you, probably. But like a five of us, there's room for like five people to line up here. It looks like. What if I, what if I make them all frightened? I don't know. I, I think it'd be better just to fireball. I say we still have to get we still have to get through there. I agree. What portcullis is made from? Well, he can fireball through the portcullis. Yeah. Just I know, but I want to know. Kill them. I just want to know what material they're made of. Metal. I do have heat metal. Ooh, I hate heat metal. Yeah, and Blackmouth has the the crossbow that shoots acid arrows, but I don't know how many arrows it's going to take to 
get anywhere on those. That's a lot of metal to mass it. Is there any kind of? There's no hinge or like. Is there any weak point? Like if we, if we could dissolve dissolve a piece of it on the corner, can then we get something to wedge and? It's not a door. It's portcullis that come from the ceiling in, down. Is it in tracks? Yeah, it's in the the tracks are in the walls. Okay, the tracks are in the walls, so it's yeah. got to fit straight up. Got it. I'm voting for a fireball, but otherwise I can I can try to scare them, frighten them. Yeah, we can launch a fireball. Fireball away, man. All right, here we go. All right, do the target. They don't get initiative. Oh, look, passed it. Yeah, I'm gonna stand back. All right. Do Roll the damage. Damage, yeah. Oh my ah, god. They, they all kind of like, ah, wow. I mean, I don't, I don't know what, uh, I, I honestly have no idea what a manacore would sound like when they're, they're on fire, but, you know, they kind of all run away. They seem upset by that, yeah. Yes, they do. But they, okay. you know, they, they kind of like, you know, a lot of sense terror more, some more than others. All well, the not- treasure that was in the middle of the room is now melted. Here. Sorry. And destroyed? Man, we still can't get in. Nope. Hey, there was the other stairs in from the kitchen. Yeah, let's go back up. Yeah, but we can't get out either. No, no, no. This the is golem, the golem, golem yeah, ripped a hole in it. We can get out. Oh, I must have missed that part. Sorry. Do you guys want to go up and come back down through the kitchen? I, yeah. Uh, what else can we do? Like... I'm asking. Try, go ahead. Did you want to try to brute strength it real quick? The first one. See if we can get it to open. What? Are, oh yeah. Drop could I, that. Yeah. I have an idea. Can I cast suggestion on the golem and have him suggest him for him to run through those new portcullises? These other portcullises. If you want to waste a spell, yeah, sure. I don't. I don't think he's. He doesn't react to anything, unless I've got that one ask of it but I don't think this is the place to ask fair enough I don't, I didn't know through, let's about go through the question sir I already asked it okay fair. yeah uh, alright so what do you guys want to do um, if you want to back out through over here the portcullis definitely has a whole size for humanoids um, and you can make your way back up the stairs through the top Go back into the great hall, go through the kitchen, and find your way through the stairs down. If you would like to do that, you can. Or, you know, you can make other choices. That's just trying to figure out what you want to do. I think maybe go back around through the kitchen, then we can hook up with our other thief, maybe. I have uh, one spell called Divination, where I can actually get a useful piece of advice. Um, concerning to the dilemma of where we're at. Yeah, go for it. Okay, sounds like they are willing to wait for you to do that. Okay, my question is, how do we open the port portcullises? What is your level? What level are you? Uh, I think I'm level seven. No, I'm level eight, sorry. One second, I'm reading this spell. So your question was, how do we open up this gate, portcullis, that sort of thing? That's exact. That's your question. Actually, portcullises, both. Yeah, I'm gonna say gate. So I have like a 68 percent chance of knowing. So the example is listed. Garner a useful piece of advice for a specific goal, event, or activity. Um, uh, within a one week period. So your question needs to be, it's not a specific response. It needs to be something like, uh, will we do well? Where would we look? How would we, you know, how would we open is a very specific, you know, uh, question. It's not a specific uh useful but not specific so keep that in mind when you ask the question so exactly what is your question or yeah like is there a hidden switch 
Is there a hidden switch that opens them? Something like that, maybe. How about oh. what opens the port cutlasses? A hidden lever. A hidden okay. lever. So, uh, I tell everybody there is a hidden lever somewhere that opens these up. We gotta find it. Alright, let's start scoping it out. Alright, where are you guys looking? What about outside the other port coast that dropped? You're gonna need to ping and move to where you're talking about because I'm not sure what you mean. I'm gonna check this area that's right on to the left of the port of Kills. Alright. If I'm I go out, to... I'm gonna check the area to the right of it. Okay. Uh, Gunthrood and Jason, give me blind GM rolls for D6, please. I'm checking where I am up by the other one. Alrighty. Give me the same, please. What am I rolling for? Detect Blind secret door. Six. No. Blind. Uh, if you have an actual skill check on you that's that, you know, sure, do that. Blind gem roll. In fact, Jason, you probably have that skill. Uh, under elf, secret door, search. Blind gem roll, yeah. Would I use uh, stonework traps and stuff no. like that? No, you're looking for secret things, so just give okay. me a D6. I did. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jason and Gunther, neither one of you guys find anything in the 10-foot section you are at. Neither does Jobman. Move over 10 feet, search again. Okay, give me a check. Each one of these takes uh, 10 minutes. Uh, go ahead and do two. You do not find anything right there. Nope. So, John, like instead of having you roll every single time, uh, give me one roll. Because you're just walking down the door. Or walking down the line. And give me another. Uh, actually, give me two more for all the space that you're going to go. I have a spell locate object. It covers 80 yards. So, gentlemen, when you get to here, uh, and Jason, when you get to here, both of you guys kind of run into the same area. Uh, gentlemen is looking. Jason is looking. Both of you guys see a secret door at that spot right there. A door, not a lever. Okay. No, it's a door. Okay, found a secret door over here. Yeah, maybe there's a lever in the in a room. Yep, or yep, exactly. It bypasses the manic wars. All right, who's going to come open the door? I'll let a thief do that. All right, I'll do it then. Is that still Mr. Wispy guy? Is he still Wispy? I don't. I actually don't. I know. haven't seen him in like an hour, so He's <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where he is. <laughs> he is. I can try and open it. Uh, he's invisible. He's not Wispy. The wispy part is fit, but you still can't see him. So, be dead uh, for all I know. So, jo other than the fact you can hear him, so Jolliman and Jason point out to Delwar. Here's the secret door. Uh, what do you want to do there? Yeah, I'll, I'll have a look, and I'll just. Uh, I guess I'll go silent and then try to go through. Or I guess. Your wispy. The, the fact that you guys have waited so long kind of searching the walls, your wraith form is, is expired. If that's true. Yeah, I about. figured as much. But I'm, no, no, I'm just talking about just uh, move silently, so I'm gonna, I guess I'll just open the door. But Alright, so you crack open the door. You can see it looks like a hallway that leads to strangely a dead end. Well, I'll walk in and I'll look for more secret doors then. Give me a D6, please. Bonnet chamber. You guys see the door open up? What are the rest of you guys doing? I'll step in behind Dalwar. You, uh, actually, you can't see him, so yeah, you move in behind him. Don't fall in the pit. <laughs> I know, I just step right onto another pit, right? <laughs> so yeah, you guys so move it. Surprised. Yeah, you move into the hallway. Delwar gets to the end of the the area and he uh, sees something that looks strange. 
Um, and with the guidance of Sir Finfall and John, both of you guys kind of can move in and you're looking at the wall and you're like, oh, this is definitely a convenient sort of another secret door on this wall here. All three of you guys see it. I say out loud, there's another secret door in here. You might want to move in. What a weird little hallway. It's a bypass, I'm guessing, to the stairs. I guess. Which means that the lever to remove the portcullis is probably on the outside of the room. Well, if we find another way around them, we, we don't have to remove the portcullis. Nope. You know, there's still got to be a way to retract them, though. But Yeah, there's got to be. All right, well, I'll, I'll try to open Where this you... door as well. Okay. Uh, Jason, uh, go through it. What are the rest of you guys doing? Gunther somehow was in the middle of nowhere. I'm just following along. I'll just stay out here and see if it opens. If they find something. Okay. Go ahead and move yourself up to there. Blackmouth Drog, what do you guys do? They are following along. Alright. Oh, uh, oh well, okay, so we're going to stay with Gunther because we don't like the cleric being alone. <laughs> Now Gunther is, uh, yeah, Gunther is moving like south when there everybody else is up here. Well, I was following, but you said I was right in the middle of nowhere. So you were in a wall, so I moved you out of the wall and put you where you should be able to see everything. So if you want to move to them, it's up here. Yeah, I'll move to them. Yeah, sorry, I just noticed you. You were like in the middle of uh, a wall, which was weird. All right, so you guys move in. Uh, Jason, um, do you want to examine things or Delwar, are you guys going to open up the secret door? Let's look for see if it's trapped. Okay, uh, let me move. I'm going to move these two back, put you up. All right, so you guys are both at the door. Check for traps, listen for noises, however, whatever you want to do, do blind jam rolls, please. Delwar, are you doing anything? Oh, I see some rolls. All right, Sorry, so neat. That's okay. Uh, neither one of you guys uh, see any traps on the door, but both of you hear on the other side the sound of large creatures. You suspect giants because you've heard them before having a vigorous discussion. You don't know what about because neither one of you guys speak giantish. Where's the door? on the north end of this little hallway. Oh, okay. I thought I was on the northwest corner. Okay. Oh, yeah. God knows what's on the other side. Well, sounds like uh, sounds like giants. Definitely didn't sound like orcs. People with plate go first. That would be my... Either that uh, or we go to that kitchen, <laughs> that kitchen stairwell. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. You guys up for a fight or you want to go around? They're probably arguing which one gets to eat us. Let's kill him. I know the, him. where I'm supposed to be to find out what I'm supposed to find. So I'm going to start. All right. All right. What are you guys going to do? I'll follow the people in plate mail. I'm going to turn yeah. invisible. All right. I if you don't want to be in the fight. front, kind of move where you want to move. If you guys are going to ch- kind of change the um, order of you know, the marching order, please do so. I move back just like one space away from the door. Okay. That way someone can be in front of me right next to Finfall. Someone who's more uh, combat oriented. I don't know why this asshole will not stay next to you. Drog, you want to get in on this uh, action? Yes, he does. Uh, but Mike, I've got Drog and Blackmouth linked again. I'm not sure how to... Uh, I mean, you can move draw wherever you want to go. I can. I mean, if you have him following with F, you can stop that. You just I, target black. If mouth I and... did, it was an accident. All I know is that when one moves, they both move together. It's probably because you can't select Drog with Blackmouth and you follow with Blackmouth when he had a torch and he doesn't have a torch anymore so he can't see Drog. <laughs> so he's just blindly following Drog. I can't turn that off. I mean, I, I mean, maybe I, uh, that seems to do it. I don't know. Maybe you selected both of them at the same time. I don't know. I don't know. I did something, but here, let me, let me at least I, put the torch back on black mouth too. There you go. All right. I'm right behind. I'm right behind your drog. I'm invisible. So all of you guys are aware of where, how it is, you know, how to open up the door. 
Uh, Blackmouth is in the back, bringing up the rear. What do you guys want to do? Uh, the drog can't see anything, but um, if you want to open the door, we'll attack. Attack what? Whatever's in there. Whatever's in the darkness. <laughs> Attack the darkness. All right. All right, so we will open the door. You guys are standing in front of the door. Uh, Sir Finfall and Draw, both of you guys have had the door pointed out to both of you by the people that found it. And when you open the door, Finfall, you can see to the northeast. Immediately, you can see a giant that looks like... Uh, I don't think you've seen one of these before. Let me see if I can provide an image. That is a terrible image. One second. Uh, I don't see it anyway. Yeah, give me a second. Yeah, you can't. Uh, Sir Finpal can. Oh, give me a sec. Scroll, scroll, scroll. So many modules, it's hard to find what I'm looking for. Images. Finpal's worst nightmare, it's a fire giant. <laughs> well... More, more body part harvesting. Yes. Uh, funnily enough, it exactly is a giant that's taller than most. And I wished I could freaking find a portrait for these guys, but I thought I had some. I got tokens. Isn't he like twice as tall as a hill giant? I mean, you can see the, fi this doesn't really help. So I'm not going to show that. You can see the token. Um, Let's let's see what is uh, the description gives me. Uh, they are tall. They look like a giant dwarf. He's eighteen feet tall, twelve foot at the chest, weighs well over uh, six thousand pounds. Is that a Fomorian giant? No, it is not. You're, you don't know what this is because you've never seen one either, but he has bright red hair. His skin is black. He is at least 16. Uh, no, he is like 12 plus feet tall, according to what this module says. And the guys to the side uh, look like the typical hill giants, but this guy looks like he's having an argument with the two giants to the northeast. 